Wow, he's been great mood. Hello, everybody. We're back. Sage Street Podcast off the rails. January 17th, the year. I see in the document it says 23, but that is not true. It is, we have moved on. Time marches forward. It stops for no one. 24. 24. Fuck you. Which means we're getting older and that sucks. <sighs> sucks. Does anyone else have onks about... I mean, I don't have that much onks about aging, but like... Angst. You always say it like that, which... Angst, we've, whatever. We've discussed it. It's wow. it's fine to say it that way. You you were right. So then so then what's the <laughs> then, then what's nobody, the deal? Because nobody says it that way. It's very theatrical. So we looked yeah. into it, and the way I say it is okay. It's totally okay. It's just not many people say <laughs> it like that. So I just wonder where you pick. Well, not met. There's not many people like me. That's true. Fortunately. Congratulations. Do you have age angst? That's it. Is that okay to say it that way, Dan? Can I get your approval? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, of course, like like anybody. Yeah, sure. it's not crazy, but like as I cl- close in on 40, 40 sucks because then you're just 10 years away from 50. Yeah. And 50 is like old. Once you're right. 50, then you're 10 years from 60. And 60 is like you're retiring soon. Yeah. I've mm-hmm. been in an existential crisis since I turned 25. Oh, Zach, you're the youngest though. How old are you, 25? 26. Oh, yeah, you're getting old. Yeah, you're getting up there. Over the hill. You're in your 20s, man. Don't worry about it. Chill. No, dude. but I, like I'm like a couple of years from being 30, and then like might as well be 40, and then fuck it, be 50, and then you're dead. Well, okay. Yeah, let me put true. it. Mm-hmm. Let me put it this yeah. way for you, Zach. You're 26. You've lived a long, beautiful life. In fact, probably five first years you don't even remember. So you can write those off. Yeah. You've had a long, full life in 21 years. We're gonna shave off five. Double that, double that, and you're still only 42. That's two lifetimes you've lived, and you're still only 42. And that's your age. Yeah, and I'm fucked. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the point, man? Like, we just. Like, what's the point? What's the point? What is the point? Let's wrap it up. Just like, you know, these <laughs> thoughts. Why are we here? What are we doing? You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just been, it's been fucking me up. Oh, wait. Oy, 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 vey. oy vey is right. So what is the point? What have, what have you determined in your in your mind? I'm still trying to figure that out. Really? Do you have any leads? Nah. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Any clues? Any I hits? hear the answer is 14. The answer is 14? It's 14 pages! Mm-hmm. I've... I haven't heard that. I've heard that the answer is 42. Yeah. It's 42, yeah. Is that what you're going for then? Yeah, 42. Like your age. You're right there. 42. You're right in the sweet spot. The joke, of course, being, Zach, is we can get the answer, but we don't know what the question is. Mm. We'll and double, I don't think we'll we ever will. Adams for you. You know, our, our, we're just here to, to live, baby. We're just here to live. You know, we're just space dust that got to put our he- peek our heads up for a moment and then go back go back to... Nothing. Mm-hmm. You people are not thinking about the question. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. Andrew Zach, gets though. it. Um. Anyways, today's episode is sponsored by Stamps.com. We have a great episode today. <clears throat> uh, Sean Stevens, friend of the show. I am rectangular. I am rectangular. He actually sent us a video during our live show. We really wanted to get him in the studio to perform, but he was traveling to. Mount Kilimanjaro with his family to um, announce, I guess, at the top of the mountain. It's funny. He says he did that to promote his music. And I was like, bro, just just to be real with you, coming on to our live show would have done a lot better. You know, yeah. although, fair. although, silver lining, he traveled to South Africa to visit his mom and they got kidnapped, which turned into <sighs> international That's news. Not silver. Well, so, uh, well. well that's some good promo. <laughs> from the aspect mm. of promoting your music. Yeah, strictly from that mindset. Si- siloing right. it from, from the horrifying experience that that must have been. Yeah, <clears throat> it's great PR. Yeah, siloed. Anyway, he's, a, a, anyway, it sounds horrible. I'm kidding, but it sounds horrible and scary. He's calling in to, sh- to talk about his experience there. I am, I am kidnapped, you lure. I am a prisoner. <laughs> Ah, oh yeah, you go. Help, help, help. I am a prisoner. Help. <laughs> anyway, it's it's not funny. <laughs> it's... 
Well, the good news is they're all fu- totally fine. <laughs> they are all totally fine. Uh, Everybody's okay. Except for, I'm sure, the uh, the lasting trauma of going through an experience like that is probably. But physically, at least, they are. Physically, they're okay. okay. Yeah. Alexander, thank you for the donut. He says, the point of life is to be happy and live life the way you want to. Cringe is dead. Wait, what? Cringe is dead. Nothing matters. Cringe is dead. So that's like, what they're is saying. That yeah. Like Nietzsche, or I'm Jesus. not quite sure what that's meant. To. Is that like God is dead? Like cringe, cringe is dead, baby. Let the Live with reckless abandon, no cringe. Dance like nobody's cringing at you. <laughs> I believe is the saying. Yeah, we've got that and so much more here today. Um, still catching up. By the way, did we get the thermometer, uh, AV, or not yet? It's coming right now. Oh, good. Rush guys- order. So you guys heard about the Stanley Cups that are causing people to lose their damn minds? That it like, uh, apparently this person's car set on fire and then it still had ice inside of it. So we're going to put that to the test here today. Oh, it still had ice that, inside? Apparently, yeah. There's a video oh, that's of a, it. That's a new detail I had not heard. I just heard that it survived the fire, which it's like, no. okay, great. The ice cube survived the fire. Okay, now it makes a little more sense why it went viral. So that's, we're going to have to- That's a good to, ad. We're gonna have to put this thing through the ringer a bit. Maybe get a bucket of hot water, put it in there, set it on fire. Uh, put in the dishwasher with the ice closed. Oh, yeah. That's a test. Mm. That's a test. That's we, not bad. We're gonna have a thermometer. We're gonna keep checking the temperature and see if it's all that. Yeah, mm. that's coming up. Um, <laughs> Ninja gets a low taper fade. Imagine if Ninja got a low taper fade. <laughs> all right, dude. All right. Imagine if Ninja got a long tape of faith. We'll get into all that. Actually, so, yeah, we'll get into that. But at the top of the show, we got to first acknowledge that, yes, it is true that we're not here on Monday to the disappointment of many. We took MLK Junior Day off, and if you complain, you are racist. I just wanted you to, I just want you to know that at this point in time. But yeah, we took off MLK Day. I'm trying to, you know, be good about uh, observing the national holidays for the crew, so that they can live, you know, b- happy, balanced lives and participate in society. I know everyone at home is like, I don't get that day off. You should. You should. Why don't, wait, don't they need to? Well, school gets it off and federal employees all get it off. And a, so lot, of, you, a lot of people if, do get it off. If, if you're know. working like a standard Depends. kind of whatever desk job, you don't get that day off? Or maybe, re- I think you know what, they're, they're the, it's the restauranteers, it's the server. Oh, if you work in a restaurant, you do not you're get fucked. Enough. But you get time and a half at least, right? No, hell no. It's a normal. What? We live in a society. That's that not, was a yeah. law. For MLK Day, no. It was a national holiday, any national holiday. I, maybe I'm wrong about that. Mm. I don't know. You gotta fact check that. Yeah. Anyway. I don't remember. Well, I had a lot of wages stolen <laughs> when I worked in the restaurant. Part of the so. game, baby. Yeah. A little wage theft. Ain't no thing. More That's than a little. Game. I've gotten, yeah. since, since I worked, yes, at CPK. Sorry, I had to bring it up. But <laughs> since working Wait, there. Wait, you worked at CPK? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Since working there, I have um, had three different class action uh, lawsuit settlement checks sent to me from stolen wages from who from all, all from california. all from california pizza kitchen How, what anything interesting in the amounts you got uh no every t- all three of them were like three to six hundred dollars something oh like that's that. i mean it was that's a nice check yeah and i'm but, sure what was actually stolen was way more than that we never got breaks or anything working <laughs> like just flat that's out. that's crazy that a huge corporate yeah. chain is doing all that they would make us sign uh, break waivers which i always refuse to sign they made you sign those yeah, they would, uh, they would have the hosts go around to all the employees and sign off that you were saying it's okay that I don't pre- take a break. And what happened if you don't sign it? Nothing. I never signed it. Well, I, I did it first, and then I like realized what was going on. I'm like, I'm not fucking signing this. And then breaks, we got sued for it. I, the one thing when I was working at restaurants that we had was breaks. You go and you take a break. Not at my restaurant. You have a cigarette. You kvetch. So sorry to We got to go to break. <clears throat> wow. Well, anyway, we took the day off. I guess people were angry because some people were angry because we took three weeks off and then we come back and have the chutzpah to take a day off. I'm so fucking angry. <clears throat> well, I'll say this. I'm glad that you guys care enough to be mad. And also, 
I'll also say this. If you want this show to continue in the long run, you got to let us, you know, live our lives. Uh, here you go from the California uh, government. There is nothing in state law that mandates an employer pay an employee a special premium for work performed on a holiday, Saturday or Sunday, other than the overtime premium required for work in excess of eight hours in a workday or 40 hours work week. So no, no extra. Fuck what? you. That's... Show up at work. Yeah. What the fuck? That's in California or? Yeah. Wow. That's a thankless business, man. Show up at work and work harder. Yeah. You tell him, Joe. Okay, but anyway, yeah. So sorry about that. Uh, actually, I was thinking about taking today off national, or not national, but holidays today. Let's see. <laughs> Did you know that today is um, National Lose the Jet Lag Day? Yo, for real? That's important. What is that? <clears throat> Let's see. January 17th. Yeah, I, was, I have so many reasons not to work today, so you guys should be all very grateful that I came in, but... We've got Ma Museum Selfie Day. Oh, dude, let's go to Getty. <laughs> Yo. Let's go. Yo. Hot Buttered Rum Day. <laughs> <laughs> Who's deciding this? <laughs> Benjamin Franklin Day. That's a, that's a, it's pretty big. Cause for celebration. Benny oh, Boy. Yeah. Benny Boy. <laughs> Cable Car Day. National Lo What the fuck is National Lose the Jet Lag Day? Give me a break. That's dumb. That's yeah. the first dumb one ever. Day we all fall asleep at the same time. Ditch New Year's Resolution Day. <laughs> We've, we're up. Amen. We're over it. Amen. It's 17 days in. We're out. Can we get a National H3 podcast today? Yeah, that's today, actually. <laughs> we don't get it off? <laughs> what the hell? National Charlotte Day. Shout out to all the Charlottes out there in the audience. Give it up. National Bootleggers Day. We love them, folks. We love all the bootleggers out there, don't we? Mm -hmm. Sure do. Yeah. National Hot Buttered Rum Day. <laughs> we we covered that one, but that that is good. We'd like to revisit that one. Yeah, day. yeah. Well, anyway, so so be thankful that we're here today. Okay. What a hero! <clears throat> also, want to give a shout out to Ab and Lena who took some heat during our time off. They posted a video oh, uh, titled "I'm Pregnant." It was just titled "Pregnant." But yeah. Oh, just pregnant. Just pregnant. Yeah. Which. You know, it's pretty high level clickbait. Let's be real. There was no truth to it, right? No, it was uh, in regards to a, a meme we have on stream. But uh, what's the meme? Welcome to our well, apartment tour. Hold on, sorry, sorry. I'm just pulling it up. <laughs> so you, you go ahead. What's the what's meme? What's the meme? <laughs> <laughs> well, I here's the photo too, which doesn't help. This is the photo you guys chose. Oh boy. I mean, I'm not rubbing her stomach or something. Well, she's not. She just found out she's pregnant. Yeah, I can see it in her eyes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I look how happy you guys are, man. Before yeah. we get into it, I do want to apologize to people. I, I don't know. So many times working here, like I, I, I just feel like uh, an idiot from Dearborn, and that's probably because I am. Because like I don't know these things. As soon as you know, people tell me they're offended. I apologize. I, I change the title. But uh, you don't know that people don't like clickbait. Clickbait, we do every day. I <laughs> they mean, don't have clickbait <laughs> in Michigan. Yeah, Maybe. I mean, listen, we we all we all uh, <laughs> life's a, it's a it's hit and misses. It's gutters and strikes. That's what we do here. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, the people that explained why it offended them, <coughs> like sincerely, I feel bad. That's horrible. Why? They, what did they say? Well, just that they've you know they've had fertil uh, fertility issues and <coughs> their own problems, and so seeing that uh, Th trigger them. Okay, that listen, that's a whole nother thing. To me, the reason at large people are upset is just because you're playing with their emotions so heavy. Cause they're when I'm so happy for you. Yeah. They get so happy. They're like, you know, Oh, he's, they're having a baby. That's so exciting. We're so happy for well, you. Well, Yeah. There's a few groups of people. I think that that's why people those people I feel bad for it too. But a lot of the people who commented to that, it's like, those were people on stream who like, we told the title ahead of time. And we're like, all right, <laughs> they, uh, no one mentioned it being a problem, so I don't know. It just flew over my head. Well, when I went to the comments, it was all like, I'm so happy. Nobody fucking watched the video. Everyone was just like, well, I'm so happy. Well, we're so of, happy. A lot of those people were probably the ones from stream that I'm referring to. That I mean, of course, there were some that were sincerely happy. So all I, your audience members are a bunch of degenerates, huh? I guess so. <laughs> they definitely don't watch this show then. <laughs> So in the opening of the video, you can see immediately that it was a joke, although a bad one. Let me see. Let me see. Let me click it. Oh, you guys, why'd you get age restricted? Oh, we got, because they got mass reported. Mm -hmm. 
Oh no! Wait, what? But and like, but then you okay? Did you dispute it? I did dispute it. Um, <laughs> did it get? Did they answer the dispute yet? Yeah, but they didn't give me a reason why. I'm thinking maybe because there's like cold sparks in it, and it looks like fireworks inside the house, but there's cold sparks. So, oh, but I was thinking about it yesterday. Like, oh, that could be a dangerous act. Maybe I could ask my YouTube guy. I'm kind of curious. Sure. <laughs> That's great. I have something to tell you. All right, let's see. Let's see what happened here. What's that? I didn't want to say it earlier in front of my brother and sister-in-law. Oh God. Because it's so sick in that Jeep, by the way. Thank you. This is a this is an old clip from an IRL stream we did in summertime. But yeah, it's, it's so thing. spacious in there. It is. I love it. It's nice. Thanks. I'm pregnant. Is this a this is a real prank that happened or what? Yeah, I mean, chat. I was in the bathroom at this Best Buy, and Lena was waiting in the car talking to chat, and they're like, "Oh, when he comes back, tell him you're pregnant." It was just like a off thing, whatever. Okay, so you didn't know about this? No, I didn't know about it. I came in and then just walked out when she told me. Okay. And how did that make you feel, Lena? I, I didn't really care. I mean, it was a joke to begin with, so... <laughs> That's why I'm laughing here after my husband walked out after I just told him I'm, I'm pregnant. <laughs> when you say it like that. Well, some comments <laughs> said, I can't believe people who walk out after being told that. You're not going to see a lot of the bad comments because I, I deleted them. I didn't want Lena to see them because they were fucking horrible. But, but yeah. also, it's not the first time this was brought up on stream. I get asked almost every single day, when am I going to get pregnant? Either by, like, Chad or my family. Well, so for me, and I don't know if anyone knows, like, I mean, they don't know if I'm trying or what the case is. So I didn't really think of it in that way. And now I realize why it might hurt some people. And for that, I'm so, so sorry. You know, um, but I'm now sorry. now the question's on the table. Now we get to ask every day. You guys open the Pandora's box. What do you say? So do you guys want kids? Uh, yeah. You see? Some people told us we're going to have bad karma now, though, mm -hmm. because we oh, do this. Oh, stop. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's cruel. That's cruel to say. Stop. Don't say that. All this pregnancy um, uh, superstition, is it's all, it's all really nasty. Like, mm -hmm. people say, you know, when we and Hila, we've, we've announced every time when Hila, when we found out she was pregnant, she was pregnant. And in, in I guess, Jewish tradition or Israeli tradition, they say it's extremely bad luck to announce it before the first trimester. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they get in your head, but don't listen to the fucking superstitious, mm -hmm. you know? That's why we have the, the hand that stops the evil eye. <laughs> right, the evil We don't believe in superstition, so I drape myself in evil eye hands. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if it's cultural or, like I said, because we're from Dearborn, we didn't even consider. <clears throat> I think because we thought, because we were talking about ourselves, and it wasn't like something like, oh, we lost the baby. Oh God, bro! You know that would I mean? be like, insane. I don't know. Again, I'm not saying I was right, but I'm just bro. Trying to... If you click bait that, but I might have next to fire time. you. <laughs> That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. But yeah, I mean, every time we go home, <laughs> Lena's family's like, "What are you guys waiting for?" You know. So you... what are you guys waiting for? Uh, for December, when ad revenue's up. Nice, no, I'm kidding. my boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, comedy is, as someone said, the last line of defense in our society. Right. So. Yeah, we say in the comedy world, we say <laughs> mm -hmm. the last line of defense. I understand people being annoyed because it's like playing with the emotions, but eh, it's not that. You know what I mean? We I, uh, listen. How many times we you got get got to give us a shot here? You know what I mean? We're out here. We're trying our best. We're pregnant. We're not pregnant. Who knows? <laughs> you know, it's a learning <clears throat> experience. We know better now. Yeah, literally. <clears throat> I'm doing fertility treatment, and Ethan and Eli being so open about it, having a third baby boy gives me hope. Okay, good luck out there, Anna. Appreciate you. Get out there. Yeah. Anyway, that was kind of an interesting little wrinkle in uh, the whole saga. Yeah. I, I think because I premiered it, too, <clears throat> it gave people time to talk about it before seeing the video. Oh, that's oh, that's probably where all the comments came yeah, from. Yeah, because before it then premiered. it was like on, you know, hate reddits and all that. I thought it was, it was on hate reddits? Oh, you mean like the usual suspects? Yeah, I oh, didn't, yeah. I didn't, I didn't even go to our Reddit, so I can't even imagine what. Those I didn't see that much. I didn't see that much shit for you guys on our Reddit personally. Yeah, I don't know, but I didn't know it was going to show the title and the thumbnail already. I thought it was going to say premiering a video, and whatever time. So yeah, I think that really screwed me as well. 
Well, there it is. They are not pregnant, but they will be soon. I'm extrapolating from their cryptic answers. They will be soon. Everybody let Lena's mom know. Whenever they are, I cannot wait to meet that baby. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Dude. We got to have kids days and shit. Uh, y'all got to get to work. Oh my God. So true. I'll put it on the list. I need to, I need to have a baby. Did I mention that my, um, my sister-in-law is pregnant? Did I mention that on the show? No. no. So yes, they just found out like a oh. month ago that Congrats. my brother and sister-in-law yeah. are pregnant. I didn't hear about oh, that. So that's, that's really, fun. that was really a great Muzzle news yeah. because then the cousins are going to be really close in age, right. which is really nice. Oh, that's great. But um, but um, bum. Yeah, Dude. she's having a horrible time. The first month, she's like so sick. Oh, okay. It's yeah. like really bad. She had to go to the hospital and get an IV. Damn. It's from throwing up a lot. Just throwing up, not being able to eat. It's really tough for some Thank people. You. Jesus. Really tough. I think you'll be fine though, Lena. You you generally you just handle things well. You know what I mean? Thank you. <laughs> he looks the same way. It's just like nothing really bothers her. For me, I'm just worried because I don't really have any help out here, like my mm. family, so. Right. Yeah, that's a big, it's a big um, concern. Would your mom ever come out and stay with you guys for a little bit? Yeah, she says that, and then also That's her say, declaration every time. Yeah. Oh, cause, and then, okay. <laughs> her other thing is when I say, like, I'm busy, I have work, she says, okay, like, you can just send the baby to me. <laughs> I'll watch the baby. What does that <laughs> mean? Yeah, like, like mail, that. like it's FedEx? Like, <laughs> I literally <right>. will. <laughs> FedEx me the baby? Every time we visit, that's what she says. I'll come out there. I'll stay out there. Well, that's a good yeah. offer. And frankly, because she's so persistent, you got to use that to your advantage. But she's <laughs> already taken care of three babies she right babies now. She babysits every day. Yeah, my and, nieces and nephews. Yeah. Oh, but they're not uh, newborns. They're yeah, going to have to fend for themselves for a little bit. Oh, they are newborns? No, they're, some of them are newborns. Yeah, I'm not even talking oh, about shit. the older ones. Yeah. Uh, I'm like, you have like eight grandkids. I mean, it's not like you're short of any. Well, clearly <laughs> your guys' is, is more um, special. I guess. More important. Lena is her favorite daughter, or her trophy daughter, if you will. Trophy daughter? And that's what yeah. AB says. That's what everyone says. Ask her sibling. Okay, she says it sometimes, too. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, there it is. Uh, we, 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 we had a whole tumultuous ride there. But Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. I apologize again. <laughs> I forgive you. You guys understand where I'm from? Like... <laughs> it's a completely different world. There's a guy in our never hometown. heard of clickbait. Yeah, I was we don't. Hey, hey, where I come clickbait? from, we joke no, about babies I mean, like, all the time. Like, like, bait you're talking it's about. It's still new. It's to a me holiday. To that. Country, Pregnancy we don't have anything day out here in Dearborn, clickbait. Michigan. Come on, don't push. Dog, <laughs> oh, you should have seen TikTok in Dearborn. That shit was wild. <laughs> people legit just stole shit. <laughs> what does that mean? They would just take like people singing and pretend to sing over it. There's a I, whole Dearborn remove, TikTok? Huh? So there's a whole Dearborn TikTok community? There's, there's a Dearborn community for everything, yeah, it's wild. Oh, interesting. So all kinds of Dearborn videos just show up on your feed once you, like, when find it? When I live it? there. That's interesting. Yeah. I saw this video of Salt Bay. This dude pisses me off, man. <laughs> Get a load of this fucking con man. I watched yeah. this whole thing. I wasn't quite sure I understood. All right, well, I'll break it down for you. As, a, as yeah. a steak cooker myself... Yeah. Let me break it down for you, Dan. First of all, it's covered in the gold, the gold oil. shit is so dumb. Yeah, it's dumb. so fucking dumb. So he's cutting it. That's fine. Whatever. You know what I mean? It's a whole. He's got a whole tenderloin. So let's it's all dumb. Let's cut it up into little uh, medallions. Marbling looks pretty good, actually, on that. Um, <laughs> but so, <clears throat> first of all. The way he throws these all on the grill is absolutely obscene. You cannot, cr you don't stack steaks. You can't crowd them like that. You have to give each one space to sear and sizzle. This, oh, is, a, this is an obscene way to cook at what looks to be very beautiful meat. Um, this is probably the worst way I've ever seen to cook a steak in my life. And he's gonna boil it in butter, okay? Which again, this seems crazy to me. Maybe this is a, something that I've not been exposed to, but that's just a mountain of meat and butter. I'm now, here's the problem. Sauce. This man goes from handling raw meat, and he's in there. He's handling that shit, mm -hmm. to, to touching bread with his dirty gloves. And, and look what he does for them. He tears it up. 
like he's doing something. This man tears the bread. Look, he, look how he pinched it. <laughs> All the fluffiness is gone. Bread that bread. dude <laughs> touched bread with raw meat gloves just for that shit. You ever watch a bar rescue? You ever see that show? John Tapper? No. Dude, that show's fucking awesome. The goat, John awesome, Tapper? Dude. That show's fucking awesome, man. Oh, <laughs> what reminded you about it? He, 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 call, love that he show. calls him out for doing that type of shit. Like, you should watch it. it oh, lacrosse contamination? Yeah, yeah, that's like his big no no number. It's one. crazy. Yeah. It's like cooking 101. And this guy, apparently, he's in the business of just handling raw and, meat. And John Taffer, he's more hardcore than fucking, like, obviously it's for TV, but it's he's more hardcore than Gordon Ramsay. Like, he fucking just annihilates him. He also just. What's it called? Bar Rescue. I'll check that out. Yeah. It's Bar so, Rescue. It's so up your alley. Like, you got to see this guy. It's the greatest show. You've probably seen him in, like, memes and shit. Oh, I've never seen him. Oh, he's a demon, huh? <laughs> I love John Taffer, dude. Goat. These whole they call oh, it my screenshots. Okay, one sec. They call it bar rescue. It's probably more like bar holocaust. Like the way that Gordon Ramsay, because I've seen all that shit. Like the the hotel one, the restaurant yeah. one. He comes in there and destroys them. He yeah. ruins their fucking lives. And he gets <laughs> them, he gets them like a new stove or something to make up for it. And then almost, I'd say like 60, 70, 80 percent of the time out of business within like a few months, or they just reverted everything and went back. Mm. That's probably the case with this guy. Yeah, too. you nailed it. He's Bar Gestapo, totally. <laughs> yeah, Bar Gestapo, <laughs> totally. Yeah, that's good. Oh, okay, good. I got to check it out. It's fucking awesome. Yeah, you shit. have to, you have to watch the pirate episode. That is the most legendary one. The uh, pirate chat's bar? big time. Uh, Backing us up on this too, everybody's. So, oh shit! How so did I not good. know about this guy? He's fucking the goat, dude. Yeah. So, um, you know, it's like you can't if you are mismanaging a restaurant, either you can't cook, you're a bad manager, you have no business sense. You can't. Gordon Ramsay is not going to fix any of that. You're just in the wrong biz, people. You know what I mean? He's got one where he tries not bar rescue, but Gordon Ramsay, where he tries to flip the restaurant in 24 hours. <laughs> yeah, and and how did it go? I don't think very well. Because every, I don't know if you do this, every time when I watch one of these, I Google the name of the restaurant to see if it went mm -hmm. out of business. Mm -hmm. Right. Pretty much always. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of iconic like that. <laughs> but um, there it is. And then like, I guess people think, oh, it's good publicity. No, it's not. <laughs> Nobody's going to want to eat there. I guarantee it. When he comes and looks at your walk-through fridge and you've got like year-old rotten chicken and sludge. Like, nobody wants to eat that shit. And you're, like, microwaving Costco bot pies and shit. No. Okay. Hey. Apparently, this is his kill-death ratio here. That's, that's actually pretty good. Is it? That's for John Taffer? Yeah. Wow. Almost 50% actually survive. How long? Because the Survived thing is, almost long? all of them are, like, they're dog shit enough that they're close to going out of business. So if he's actually rescuing... Close to half on the show. Over how long? Over how long? Uh, it's just all. This is as of 2024. Okay. So this is just like a rolling total. I think mm. the show's been on since 20. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. I agree. Half? Well, uh, certainly there'd be a percentage of them that we're going to keep it going regardless. Yeah. And a lot of them are probably just getting more Some. debt and getting if more. If you see the, the show, hole. though, a lot of them are, are just. In pretty dire shit. I wish we could. Uh, you could send me a clip. I'd probably get claimed into yeah. oblivion. Yeah, like, definitely. Like some of some of the booze in the bar have like fucking like bugs in it. Oh my goodness! Like it's it's gnarly. I've seen high if, level. If those like, numbers are accurate, with... he he's genuinely good. Beyond it being entertaining, <laughs> which it is. Well, I feel like a bar is easier to save than like a hotel or restaurant because it's like, well, how you fuck up a bar? You just pour drinks, clean the glasses. Pour the drinks. Well, well a lot no, of them this are, is kitchen are, too. Yeah. A lot of them are places that are bar and grill, so it's more of like a restaurant. Check Some of them are dive plain, bars. Baby. I don't know. So this this isn't from the actual show. This was one that was very famous, where it was a pirates bar that he turned to like a corporate type area, and then when he left, they burned down everything that he brought, <laughs> and then they, they were like singing like pirates again. They're like they burned his shit because they didn't like him. Yeah, because oh, they that's... didn't. That's yeah, good. so this video is epic, but there's copyright music in it. But they like uh, shoot yeah, up the sign, and then they end up closing. Yeah, I want to see. That's awesome. Good for you guys. That's real pirate shit right there. Hire matey. Yeah, that was his corporate sign. Hand me the rum, there, Bucko. Let's go get us some. Let's I did go. Everything right. Let's go rape some women. That's what the pirates did, I guess. 
Let's go plunder and rape, y'all. Thanks. Thanks. Not that. Not that funny. Thanks. Uh, anyway, are... fuck the Salt Bay. <laughs> Ooh, I got questions, man. Dan, this is you, right? In this commercial? In the Mega Man commercial? That is me. What? <laughs> okay. Because I was like, hold on, that's that's probably not Dan. But then I watched no, it. No, that watched is, it, uh, I and believe, said, uh, an 11-year-old Dan love. So how did this all happen? Uh, it's a Look way less this. interesting story than you than, uh, you'd think. W My Dan. cousin worked for Capcom in their marketing department, and they needed people to do testimonials for this commercial they were making. Did they she pay knew you? I played Mega Man. Uh, no, I don't think so. That's see, that's crazy yeah, how they do that. It was at some like event at like an arcade or something. I it, it was a long time ago. It's very hazy, but uh, but wait. But I was happy to do it. I love Mega Man. Still do. That's great, how they get you though. Great that's game. how they get free labor out of children. Yeah. Now they exploited me. They exploited Capcom, me. you got. They have money. Yeah, they, they got budget. Capcom money. That's Street Fighter, dude. Yeah, break. Capcom's Marvel huge. versus Capcom. Not your fault. Wait, Capcom owns a whole bunch of it. They're massive. Capcom uh, IPs. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're pretty big. I think they own other... Sh let me see. Yeah, they they're, have a uh, ton of sub um, companies, too. I, I believe they're actually still pretty big in, like, the arcade space, too. Mm. Like, a lot of uh, arcade cabinets and stuff are made by Capcom. Jesus and yeah, they got God. Resident Evil. They got fucking... Uh, Street Fighter, which is still super popular. So yeah, pay up. Yeah, I need one, another one of those class actions. And there it is. So, but the, how did they come across this? Was this ever like a paid uh, or a commercial somewhere? That's what I was wondering. How the fuck did they find? Is it? the user that posted this? What are you doing watching television ads from 1999? Here. Graphic is so cool. It just has everything that oh, they, games they put it together like a big ass commercial though. They probably did run this on TV. Why else? No, would they... it did. It did. This was dude. That's crazy. They didn't pay you. <laughs> that's fucked up. Did Should they hit give... them up? Did you give you like free games or anything? Um. Well, my cousin oftentimes did hook me up with stuff because she was working in the industry. She left the video game industry a long time ago, but um, can see why. Yeah, exploiting did, children, but. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I, uh, I guess I never really thought about it. They probably should have paid all those kids. Oh, yeah. They were just kind of, they were, like, farming <laughs> these interviews. They had, like, a station. It was some event or something. And they were just, like, farming interviews. They were having kids just, like, come through and sit down. And they would just ask them a couple questions about Mega Man or whatever. That's fucked. And so I popped in and did it. And uh, I made the cut because, what can I say? You're I'm a natural. Kill, you crushed I'm it. I'm a well, natural, let's dude. Let's see. And you go like this. I have grown up with Mega Man. I have grown up. That's it. It sounds. It feels very true. I have. I have grown up with Mega Man. Yeah. You didn't even say if you like it, frankly. I still got it, folks. You know. Say the line. Say the line. Grab that, Zach, if you haven't yet. You got it. Yeah, I think your cousin probably pulled strings to slip you in there. No. I suppose she may. I don't think she. Had that much influence. You think they you made the cut with that comment? <laughs> I did grow up with Mega Man. I you are you questioning the integrity of the Capcom marketing team? I just accused them of gonna stealing the labor best. from kids. No, no, so. no. They're gonna pick the best performances. Okay? You are that. I have grown up with Mega Man. Yeah. Yeah, I can <laughs> see it. that's that's uh <laughs> really pertinent testimony. Fucking nailed there. it, dude. <laughs> yeah, so hold on. I gotta call you out. Scroll up. The graphic is so uh, cool. It just has it. You, what, what, yours burb. Yours burb. The user that posted this. Yeah. I, I need, I need answers. How the fuck did you How find this? How the fuck did you spot that? Did you connect that, that that was me? Yeah, All message of one of the mods. I'm actually, I'd like an answer on that. <laughs> I'd like to know. Is there any answers in the, in the comments? Uh, yeah, it's 100% him, Pit Pat says. His parents were involved in animation. Nice find. Zach needs well, to pull this for a drop. I have grown up with though. Mega Man. That is a good drop. That's so deep Dan lore, man. <laughs> That's awesome. Shout out to Mega Man, especially Mega Man X, by the way. Bro, why didn't you tell us Nintendo you era games. Th those are my goats. How? Why didn't you tell us this earlier, that you were a full-blown... 
You are a full blown Mega Man now, influencer. This morning, uh, AB was you. like, Dan, are you in this Mega Man commercial? And that was the first. Like it all like came back to me in a flash. I was like, yeah, I was in a Mega Man thing like twenty five years ago. Olivia and Lena lost their minds. <laughs> I couldn't believe you were a child one time. Right. <laughs> you know, he kind of yeah. sounded like an adult. Your voice was my voice was very deep in that. It sounds uh, deeper than it is now somehow. I agree. Maybe I was overcompensating. <laughs> um, I have yeah, grown I, up with it. It would have been, it would have been in like early middle school. So how old are you in like sixth or seventh grade? Like twelve. Oh yeah. 11. I guess eleven. 11 you're hitting 12, puberty. I would say I probably was. Damn. In that clip. Yeah, you're hitting it then. Yeah, I played <laughs> Mega Bad. What? I grew up with Mega Bad. <laughs> um. Well, that's fun. That's exciting. N new bit of lore there for everybody. <laughs> Should I? We need to do a poll, okay? Because we keep talking about Panera Bread. Yesterday on the member stream, I ordered a Panera Bread Lightning Heart Attack um, lemonade. Yeah, how was it? Supercharged. <laughs> Supercharged, exactly. I'm about to supercharge your heart. Um, d do we have the defibrillators here? If I do, we drink that. <laughs> uh, yeah. My cardiologist told me no. He specifically said, be careful with caffeine. So I'm going to drink two larges back to back. No, Your kidding. doctor said, be careful, Kevin. No, no. My heart is in beautiful condition. Wow. <laughs> Gorgeous. Um, <laughs> so I was on the member stream yesterday ordering from Panera. And I was curious, do they still sell this? I mean, two people now died. Yep. Allegedly. At least. In, in, in connection with this lemonade. No. After two, Stop. one is a fluke. Two is like a pattern. People be dropping dead, but also it's kind of fire marketing. I thought to myself because there's probably a lot of people at home thinking like, "Damn, that's a drink that's gonna pet me up in the morning," and I'm one of those people, in fact. So my thought was this, and I I'm someone that's not affected by caffeine almost at all, at all. Um, so I'm thinking this: two larges back to back during this show. And to see if I die. Because I've been wanting to try it. So anyway, I ordered it yesterday, and then they, they didn't bring the damn thing, man. Oh, that's what happened. They didn't bring it. I'm so pissed, dude. Panera fucks up my order every time, dude. Me and Ela ordered. They, the they didn't bring any of my shit. Have you, have you switched up the location? Because there's a lot of Panera. I imagine the one by my house is the same as the one near the office. Your order here got messed up, too? Didn't, didn't it? Didn't yeah, we right. order once and it was it all crazy? Super delayed. It took forever. Oh, uh, man. Okay. People oh, are like, I'm no. Not gonna, I'm not going to die on this hill defending Panera Bread. I will, <laughs> honestly. I will die on it. It's let's pretty, do a it's poll. Pretty mid. Let's it's do pretty a poll. Mid. Let's be real. Well, let's see. Do you guys want to see me crush two lightning lemonades? And me crush a soup? I would love you, that. Who wants to see Olivia crush a soup? <laughs> Literally, it's the, it's the year of soup for real, for real. Yeah. Can I be real? Yeah. I had some of Ela's, uh, it was like a cream of mushroom chicken soup with wild rice. <laughs> Fucking good. Yeah, oh yeah. Soup yeah. is different. I drank every drop of that. Mm -hmm. Bread mm -hmm. bowls too. Bread, Panera. It's pretty amazing. Um, so what is, have... you, you started this with, let's throw up a poll. Yes. <laughs> what is the poll? Should I get, should I try to drink Should I get two... Panera bread? <laughs> no, no, no. Should I, kind of. Should, should I get two? Should you two? drink two of the caffeinated drinks? Ride the lightning. It's not. It's should I ride the lightning? I don't think hey, it's that's enough. That's my hoodie, man. To realistically ride be the that lightning, dangerous. baby. <laughs> well, both of these people had pre-existing conditions, but I, I, what I really want to see is if I feel anything, because I'm telling you guys, I don't feel caffeine. Like it doesn't work for my body. I don't yeah. know why. My whole life. And uh, I feel this. Um, does anyone else feel that no, way? I'm with you. Yeah, hundred percent. I get sleepy from it sometimes. Same. Me too. If anything, yeah. that's mm -hmm. what I think. Yeah. Immediately from caffeine. Yeah. I yeah. I'm I'm diagnosed with ADHD, and that's like a big thing. Is caffeine puts you to sleep sometimes? Oh, really? I don't think I have, or maybe I do. Or I don't know. whatever but. that causes, or I that's a thing that exists with me. I literally will take a shot of espresso. I'll be out in a second. Why does coffee? I've I've searched this before and it always says something like ADHD, but I, I feel like it's got to be more than that. You don't you don't seem to have anything like that, love. I mean, not diagnosed, but I think. I You're saying you, well, eight, listen, 
A ADHD definitely. is a real medical right. issue. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know. People are these days are like, oh yeah, I. It's. Uh, I like TikTok. I have ADHD. <laughs> I like no, I, like I, I have like. Um, I get annoyed. I th I, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I do, but since I'm not diagnosed, I'm not gonna. You seem pretty chill. Mm. Like during the episodes, you're focused. No, no. He has like 50 things going on mm. on the screen. At all. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah, I do a lot um, of things. Just what do you do? Also, love won't play yeah, any not... video game that isn't uh, just nonstop instant action. I'm mm -hmm. killing people. I'm backflipping. Like we, anytime yeah. we try and get him to play anything that's like slightly chilly, he's like, this shit's way too boring. It just doesn't stimulate me. Yeah. Okay. Well, I do not have ADHD. I'm a paragon of mental health. Mm. <laughs> uh, the poll didn't work. I see everybody saying it's broken and yeah, it actually has zero too. votes. So this says, uh, Fuck. I ask, why does coffee make Dragon. me sleepy? Caffeine can block the effects of adenosine which is what makes you feel alert after your morning cup of coffee. However, once the caffeine wears off, your body may experience a buildup of adenosine and that hits you all at once. That's, that's, that's see, that, that's, not, that's not true. It's like immediately, I just feel sleepy. <clears throat> so the poll was- Nobody's uh, addressing this. I, I've been diagnosed with ADHD. I feel the same way as Olivia. Okay, <laughs> hold on. There's no way that we have three people with diagnosed ADHD. And, well, you just <laughs> I was you, we be learning things on the uh, show. College. We learned Monday I guess. or last Monday that half our audience is autistic. So <laughs> that's so true. The numbers Come they're on. higher than Wait, you, you think. Took, you took an autism uh, quiz on the stream yesterday. I think it's time for ADHD quiz to definitively you know uh, what? diagnose oh, you. Ethan, Let's do that. That's yeah. not how that works. Shut up, Jake Doolittle, bitch I, ass. I've been booked Oops. for like a um, appointment with a. A thing or whatever it's specialist. called, specialist, yeah. to find out. But I missed the appointment like ten or fifteen <laughs> times. Like I kid you not, throw. That's up my one life. of the first tests. That's yeah. something that my <laughs> therapist and I work on is being on time and um, missing things. Because okay. I, I get anxious even going there. Yep, it's bad. Okay, so this is the same according the to same website that I just sent you. All right, I'll do that. But according to this, similarly to autism, two point six percent of adults have. ADHD. So we are really defying all statistical possibilities here on the H3 podcast. Um, let me take a test. Let's get to the bottom of this. I passed the autism test, by the way. If anyone's it's not a here. pass. <laughs> I could give you my girl's name. It's not that kind of test. What do you mean? Diagnostic. I That's not how that works. Who was it that said full-blown autism we were making fun of? RFK. Oh yeah, RFK, we were watching him on Howie's podcast. Who, by the way, I'm going on a show tomorrow. He's doing a live show again. Howie? And he text, he said he wants me to come on again. When and did, when did I, that go? When he asked me a couple announced? weeks ago. Oh. But I can't say no to Howie. He's does, he does so much for us. So. That's Howie. true. So, that is what I'll be doing, but... Yeah, <laughs> RFK yesterday on Howie's show, so he referred to people with uh, with severe autism as full blown autism. Full blown baby. <laughs> like they've got like full blown like AIDS or something. <laughs> the, the the autism has fully matured. He is fully blown out. <clears throat> Question one: I find it difficult finishing a task or project. Yeah. Dan says yes. What do you say yes based on? I would say sometimes. You would disagree with that, Dan? I guess it depends on how we're defining a task or a project. Is your task to, say, get through this story? No. In a reasonable amount of time without getting distracted and going off on 10 different tangents? No. Process? I think a task is like, I'm going to throw out the trash, and then you throw out the trash. Mm -hmm. Instead of getting like sidetracked on side missions and stuff. Okay. I do a lot of side missions. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to say sometimes. Okay. You know yourself. <clears throat> I find it difficult to organize myself or a task. I definitely cannot organize my life at all. So I'll say, I'll very, say very often. Yes. I find it difficult to remember appointments. Lena, what Lena? do you think? <laughs> you re haven't really had to remember. But I, if yeah. I did, but yeah. if oh, I did. if you did. Well, you remember that you have that thing tomorrow. Yeah, because I was texting with them yesterday and he said he goes i'll see you on thursday i was like wait what <laughs> <laughs> oh. so no, maybe. i'll be honest i find it difficult to remember appointments i'm gonna say very often i can't i'm really not good at that and you could you can speak the truth i was gonna lena. say lena now's your chance go for it okay. yeah <laughs> what, what would you have me to put in here lena 
Very. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. I was almost asking you facetiously because I knew it was bad. Love if it. If a task or project requires a lot of thought, I will often delay in getting it started. Hmm. If a task or project requires a lot of thought. Yeah, I'll say very often. I find it difficult to sit still and often fidget or squirm. That's never. What? I I sit still. I'll sit still all day. Mm -hmm. Your feet are all over the place always. You're squirming in that chair 24-7. So what does they mean sit sit still? You're right now fidgeting. Right. You're I do that with my leg. legs a lot. So yeah. But is that what they mean? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they don't mean like, oh, I'm, I gotta leave my house and do they something. They could mean that, <laughs> no, but it no, Because I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't sit still for a long time. Squirmy. I have to walk around. That's what I thought it meant. See, I don't have to get up and walk around or anything like that. So then, let's say, uh, sometimes? Often? I'd say, I'd say often. Really? You're a fidgeter, yeah. You're a squirmy person. Okay. <laughs> You're a squirmer, dude. You're a squirm worm. Yula does always <laughs> yell at me because I shake the whole bed with my... Yeah. <laughs> Alright. I would describe myself as being on the go and feel compelled to do things as if driven by a motor. Never! That's never. That's me, Compelled to do never. things as if... Well... I'm never on the go, and I never feel compelled to do things. That's one of my big problems, frankly, is I have a... A crushing um, disease of just being lazy. I just have a cr that's been the obstacle of my whole life. It's just right. Okay. <laughs> persistent, aggressive laziness. Right. Find it hard to remain focused in group settings. You know, yes. Did did was this happen to you guys ever? Like in a in a classroom during like long conversations about whatever, that you just get completely lost. Like, that happens to everybody. Yes. Where you're like, mm -hmm. what the fuck are we talking about right now? Like, yeah. that happens to everybody. I don't think it happens to everyone. I see even what? Dan giving it a little. Mm, I mean, I, I guess it has happened. Mm -hmm. I would say not too often for me. It happened uh, very often for me. I would always go, wait, so what are we doing? I would always yeah. say that in groups. Or I would just get really anxious. Where I was like, oh my God, if the teacher calls on me, I don't even know what the fuck. I didn't even know what realm of answer they're mm. looking for. <laughs> I've had that before on the show. That's fair. You're doing other stuff. Yeah. You're not doing other stuff. So what no, are you I, doing? I am. There, there was one time you asked me something and I was like, uh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, whatever you say. <laughs> but like, I thought it was like, I don't know. I thought it was clear that I was kind of lost. But then people in the chat were like, what the fuck is wrong with AB? But I was kind of just... <laughs> I thought it was You shouldn't clear. have agreed to that. Yeah, right? I shouldn't have. Yeah. Oops. I was like, whatever you say, boss. I was like, do you think Michael Jackson uh, <laughs> should be exhumed and uh, DNA tested? Yep. Whatever you say, boss. I should have titled my video, We Got Pregnant at Neverland. Wow, <laughs> that's fucking a weird title. I just took the uh, autism test. You yep. did? Uh-huh. What'd you get? Uh, you experience many typical signs of autism. Huh. Hmm. How, what, 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 send me the screenshot, cause I, I mean, Zach, you do, you are like, I just made your day. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not them. denying it, it actually explains a lot. I think we crashed the, uh, ADHD test website. Oh, fuck. Wait, no! send me a screenshot, I wanted to see how many points you got. Okay. But you're in the middle of the test. If it crashed, then you're not going to get your yeah, result. Yeah, just finish here. quick. You're not going to no. get your, your official diagnosis that you will take very no, seriously. No, no, I'm in. I'm in. Life. I'm in. It's going to work. I find it hard to remain focused. I'll say often. I won't say very often. I'll say often. My mind feels very cluttered, and it's hard for me to concentrate on one thing at a time. <sighs> you know, I, I, could, I could say yes, but the thing is, like, I've never thought about it because it, it's never really been a problem for me. Can I give you an outsider perspective, perhaps? Yeah, of course. I would, for you, I would answer very on this one. My mind feels very cluttered and it's hard for me to concentrate on one thing at a time based on how I flow through the show. Mm. Uh, not just the show, I would just say in life, in our group chat. Give me, give me, what? I, in our group I, chat? I, I, I think you sense that. Sometimes. Sometimes there's left left turns. Mm -hmm. well, we're having a conversation. A I send you a video of like someone, something, <laughs> a person on a wheelchair falling down an elevator. Yeah, exactly like that. But yeah. what do you do? You're not just sitting at your phone, like <laughs> concentrating on our 
text conversation. No, Surely no, there's no, other I things get it, happening. I get it. But just I've known you for I'll a long often. time now. You say very often or often? No, I guess you, often. You should answer it, truthfully to you. I, you should answer truthfully to yourself. And of well, course, like anything, it varies. There, that's there true. Are, when you're in like serious mode, you can you can buckle down and concentrate yeah, on something. But that's what I was going to say. In like, the day to day, on average, definitely leaning oh the other way. Okay, I said sometimes. I make decisions quickly and fail to think through the consequences. That's very often. Mm. I would say so. It can be fairly impulsive. I make decisions quickly and fail to think through the consequences. Maybe often. Maybe often. Mm. I'm often irritable with a short fuse. I would say rarely. Yeah. I mean, since I'm medicated, I'm fine. I was going to say, and, and it's you used to be a lot more irritable. Not really anymore. So here's the thing. When I was... I mean, like, you can be. When I was a young can. adult, before I started, like, having anxiety and stuff, I was, I was, never got irritable mm. or had a short fuse. But then when I started dealing with all the anxiety and stuff, it really, I feel like, fucked me up. But now that I'm medicated again, I'm, I feel like back to where I was, but basically never or rarely. So I'll say rarely. I think that's fair. Yeah. I have mood swings sometimes. Never is like kind of socio, like who doesn't get irritated? Stoic. Sometimes. Just, yeah. I have no I emotions. Know, I have no problems. Yeah. I have mood swings sometimes feeling quite high, other times quite low. I don't know about that. I don't think so. Rarely. I often miss what is being said to me in conversations. I don't think so. I don't think so. Rarely. Unless it's me. <laughs> Unless it's AV. That's a good point. That's true. Okay, come on now. What? So I finished the the quiz. Oh it's loading. no. Guys, can you everybody bail? Oh no. No. <laughs> you guys, you gotta bail. You gotta let me load no. this. Oh, Ethan. We got the cloud you've flare. Been diagnosed with cloud service interruption. <laughs> Yo, I have a no, gateway. You have my gateway, gateway timeout, dude. That doesn't sound good at all. Oh, oh. God. Alright, Zach, send There's me your autism score. There. I did, it's in Discord. Let me see. These results indicate that you experience many typical signs of autism. 16. Right in the middle. I got a little, just halfway. I got okay. half, I got halfism. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What should I do now? I mean, I've That's already, the... I've kind of noticed <laughs> what should about I do it now? myself. Huh? Apparently they say, yeah, go walk. <laughs> please remember that this test only indicates common signs of autism based on your experience. Your result is not a clinical diagnosis. However, it does mean that you do have autism. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, but I, by the way, uh, it is time to speak with Sean. Uh, he just joined the waiting room a, a moment ago. Hold on, though. I'm I'm <sighs> sensing that I may... Yeah, I'll get to him, but... Okay. I was just going to say, I'm sensing that I might actually be more ADHD, ADHD than I ever suspected. You're I, I have I never ADHD. thought of myself that way, ever. Ever. But I'd like to see my score. I think... Based on my score, I think you'd probably have like 30. What was your score? 35. Let's see. I answered fairly close to you. I could give you the 35 doctor out of what? in LA. Out of 50, I think. That I went to. Oh, out of if you actually want to get tested. But for well, what do you do about well, it? Well, I did it because I needed extra time taking tests. Right. I was going to say, if it's not interfering with your life, then I wouldn't. I don't like the medicine yeah. for that shit. Like, I tried... Oh, I've tried Adderall and I hated yeah, it. Yeah, I have what? it. I don't. I just take it if I like feel that I really need it. Really? Yeah. Just, and I haven't used it since school. I don't think. I fucking hate it. It just made me so anxious. I couldn't sleep. I didn't. I didn't feel any beneficial feelings mm -hmm. from that drug. Just negative. Yeah, it's good for a period of time, and then it's just a nightmare for some people. Not mm -hmm. everyone. Oh, sorry, you must complete a test before accessing this page, you motherfuckers. I have ADHD. Oh, you think I'm going to be able to fill that out again? Hell no. <laughs> no. All right, and also I'm before I get shot. to Sean, I do want to uh, do, uh, what was the poll? Am I going to do the heart attack uh, challenge or no? Uh, it was, uh, it, it bugged out, but it was 56% yes to uh, 40 whatever, no. Oh, Let's yeah. do it. Maybe I'll fall asleep. Maybe I'll explode. We're going to find out here today. I mean, but, you could just do one. You haven't even no, had one yet. No, two is the one. Because both these, the first dude that died, he drank two back to back. He got the free refill. I'm going to have to order two. Because I'm not there to get the free refill. They're going to use this as proof that they didn't die by it. Like a right. red. bread. Yeah, this be, is a... You're just, trying to do them a, a favor. They, I'm an you're expert. You're basically just slam dunking on them. 
an expert uh, witness. <laughs> yeah. Emily says, I'm a licensed clinical social worker, autism, ADHD, and complex PTSD all have overlapping symptoms, so that could be something to look into. Thanks. I'm, I'm, I'm good. You know what I mean? Like, I don't need any more. I'm okay for now. We don't need more <laughs> oh, diagnoses. Good. and so I don't need another Jake do a little video on me. No. All right, let's bring in Sean. We do need to order Panera, but I also need to pee. I don't know why I need to pee so much today. Third time since I came in here. The Damn. Freak? What the freak? But I'll be right back, and then we're going to talk to Sean's harrowing experience about being kidnapped. Um, <laughs> it's, it's crazy. It's absolutely nuts and not funny at all, right? So we'll keep the comedy. We're going to tune the <laughs> comedy that. down. That it's not funny? It's not funny. <laughs> I know, but the way you said it <laughs> makes... Makes me giggle, and then I seem like an ass. That's on you, funny. bro. If you find well, it funny, because we were that's joking about you. it earlier, bro. If you find it funny, I don't that's find it funny. You. I find it why funny you how you're insisting. Why are you oh, laughing? It's not funny. Why are you laughing, laughing at you? I'm not laughing at Sean. I'm laughing at you. My face. There's no. <laughs> you're there's dead serious. Smile. Yeah, it's that's so true. Funny. It's true, and that's why it's so funny. All right, let me be right back. Okay. Imagine him ninja got a low table face. <laughs> Imagine it! Imagine if Ethan Klein got a low take her face. Wow. What a voice. Literally, what a voice. What a voice. We haven't even talked about this yet, but this is a little teaser for later in the show. I guess just everyone at home, just imagine it for a second. The way he wails on that note is crazy. Imagine. Ooh. I can see it. Beautiful. Wow. It's cured my ADHD. <laughs> I'm all I can think about is ninjas low yeah, taper. I can focus. <laughs> clearly <laughs> focusing my mind. I'm razor yeah. sharp right now. Ra like the razor that cut ninjas fade. Yeah. You and me, we're all on the same page. Uh, somebody said I didn't get my ADHD diagnosis until 35 because I was always hung up on the hyperactive part. Reading more on the symptoms was enlightening for sure. Yeah, um, you know, you don't want to diagnose anybody, but it, it does kind of, does kind of fit for Ethan, doesn't it? Kind of makes sense a little bit. Anxiety is often misdiagnosed as ADHD. Fair enough. Uh... I'm a licensed clinical social worker, autism. Oh, we read that one earlier. Uh, somebody just gave a two pound, <laughs> a two pound donation. Just said, "Touch of the tism." Mm. That's what I say. Hmm. Who are they referring to? <laughs> Maybe Zach, because he sent his results. Zach, you did the wait. You also did the. Uh, the ADHD one? Oh wait, this is Cam. Sorry. No, I did the tism. Gotcha. I mean, this you, you're right in the middle. Yeah, halfism. <laughs> you got the halfism. <laughs> Diagnosed with halfism. Uh, somebody said birds of a feather flock together. Right. Yeah. True. Uh, I don't know what this means, but there's some allegations against you, Olivia. <laughs> Oh, God. Can Olivia please acknowledge the allegations that she's actually Tate McCree's secret twin? <sighs> Doppel I love that compliment. Doppelgangers love for real. Who's, uh, who is that? She's Tate. like a new pop girly. Tate and McCray. sometimes people say I look like her and I love it. Okay. See you a little bit. Mm hmm. Sure. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Shout out Meg Shep. Meg Shep. Uh,. Why didn't Ethan news report Nashville's blizzard? We got eight inches of snow overnight, and I've been stuck in my apartment for three days. What do you I want? wish he had warned us. Oh. Sad face. <laughs> Not a sunny day in Nashville. Yeah. Oh. That is kind of low key. A stormy day in Nashville. Sorry about that. I have a responsibility. But I'm hearing Panera doesn't deliver here. Oof. Why are they fucking with me? Oof. Constantly, consistently. This is. How far is it, Lena? Could you maybe go? I'm, <laughs> I'm sick of them blue balling me. Like, I'm just, right I have now. to put my foot down. 
Malcolm, let me check. I think the nearest one is really far, and that's why last time we ordered, it took like forever. Oh, okay. So then that doesn't sound like a fun project. Okay. <sighs> There's a gentleman waiting bring to speak him. to us. Yeah. We're going to have to set Panera aside go ahead. for the next few minutes. So here we go. I'm bringing in Sean. Yeah, big welcome. I feel it in my hole. I am rectangular. And Mr. Rectangular himself. E -E Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show, Sean Stevens. Hi, guys. Can you hear me? Hey, Sean, what's that behind you there? You got your, like, your resume? Oh, yeah, I've got my standard everyday Zoom aesthetic. As CEO, CEO but... baby. Did I change it? So, so back and see my house. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. So, um, thanks for calling in. Nice to see you. How you been? I mean, other than the kidnapping. Yeah, a little light kidnapping in the morning. Uh, I've been good. Uh, I've been back 10 days <laughs> it's been since the uh, event. So uh, I'm feeling good again. I finally got rid of the, the feel and look like I just got kidnapped aesthetic. Yeah. And I'm starting to feel like I'm back to being myself, which is nice. Have you considered that if you would have come to our live show that perhaps the kidnapping would never have taken place? I did not consider that until this very moment. Yeah. Something oh to think good. about. Converging yeah, paths. <laughs> but anyway, no. Uh, uh, I'm glad that everything is okay. I was actually quite, I was worried as hell when I saw that headline. It was, it was, uh, it was really quite unreal. Yeah, listen, it was a crazy, crazy circumstance. You know, I was thinking about it as I was sitting here uh, watching this great podcast on ADHD and going pee and things. And... Uh, and and the, uh, the the thought crossed me that actually I still am the luckiest man alive because there's other people that have had traumatic events that they just keep going, like they go for weeks or months or years. And I had like a tra traumatic event, and admittedly it was the lowest point of my life. But wow, uh, wow. Uh, I gotta say the fact is it's over. I'm home. I'm safe. My Everybody, kids are safe. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Um. So you went to Mount Kilimanjaro. Everything was good there. You guys hiked. You did. You 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 did the. I traveled. How many miles did you travel? What was the official one there? I think it was twelve thousand three hundred and fifty-two. Although I could be wrong. Somebody could correct me on that. Right. And I so, did a video for you guys at the top, which is you know took a lot of energy. I got to tell you, it was very high. It was very yes, hard. we we enjoyed it. We all enjoyed it. We watched it. Everybody was stoked to see you. Hear from you. Yeah. So after uh, you you uh, traversed the mountain, you guys decided to go visit your mom in South Africa, right? Correct. Yes. So sure. she's been there since I was a kid. She runs an orphan project. Orphan isn't really the word. It's it's more like vulnerable children is the is how we describe it now. Hmm. Uh, and in that part of Africa, there's a lot of kids who need a lot of help. One out of every five children is is in a bad way. Hmm. And she runs a huge project where she brings in literally hundreds of kids at a time and sort of figures out who are the children with uh, with food haven't eaten, who are the kids who need clothes, who are the kids who uh, need advocacy, just need some papers or some help. They've lost their mother or father. And so she, and sort of a big project to help a lot of people all at the same time. And she's been doing it since I was a kid. I mean, I have not been back in 20 years. Mm. My first time returning to see her in decades. And so you so what city is she in? Uh, it used to be called Nelsprit. That's what most people know it as, but it's now called Bombella. Bombella. And Bombella. so tell, I guess, walk me through how this, is, how this happened. You, you arrived in, uh, what's, where did you arrive when you traveled there by car? Do you mind kind of going through it? If that, if you're okay with that? Yeah, no, no. You know, the, it, it's a pretty traumatic story. So if everybody's okay with that, if you need to shut me down, like, let me know. I, I'm, I'll talk about it happily, but I want to make sure I don't tr stress anybody out. So that that's, a, that's a good uh, disclaimer to make for sure. But I think we're, we're okay, but it's nice to make that disclaimer. But yeah, I, wanna, I want to hear from you. Sounds good. Yeah, so we went to, uh, there's another country which is inside South Africa called, used to be called Swaziland. Now it's called the Kingdom of Eswatini. Uh, and in the Kingdom of Eswatini, there's a, there's a children's home uh, where they have, a, I think, 84 kids there. Uh, and so we went to that home because they needed medicine that they couldn't get in Eswatini. So we brought them the medicine from South Africa. Uh, and that meant that we left a little bit later in the day than you'd usually leave. So we got there sort of midday and we hung out with the kids for a while. 
And then we went home back to where her uh, her project is, which is near Mbombela. Uh, and so on the way home, we, we'd gotten there, gotten back late. So we were in downtown, like the downtown core of the city, uh, previously known as Nelsprit. Uh, and we stopped at a gas station and we, uh, we, we, were, we had one person with us, we let off. And on the way out of the city, uh, a cop pulled up behind me. So, I, and I looked up the, the window and, you know, the blue lights and it's flashing. And so, uh, you know, I did the appropriate thing you do when a police officer approaches the a vehicle like that, you know, he pulled over aside. And I'm thinking, you know, I'm driving on the wrong side of the street. I've probably done something wrong. You know, I've always got that sort of guilt, you know, like guilt you feel when somebody, when a police officer pulls you over. And uh, so I pull over to the side and uh, roll down the window and an officer comes to the front window. And uh, he says, you know, you, you, I need to see your license and registration. And so I'm in, immediately in that mode where, where's my license looking for it? And I pull it out and I look at the police officer and I'm like, well, you're wearing a police vest, but you're, you don't have a police hat on and you don't have a police shirt on. I said, look, I, are you a police officer? I mean, can I see your police designation? And, and then he started to get really, you know, riled up and demanded and tell me that, you know, what I was doing. He sort of started yelling at me and I'm like, this is really strange behavior coming from a police officer. Uh, and then finally, uh, you know, as we were sitting there getting in this little fight, uh, he uh, verbally, he says, turn off your car. So I say, OK, I'll turn off my car. You go get me your, your police officer badge and we'll be good. And so I turn off my car. And as soon as that happens, he reaches in the car and he unlocks my door. And now I'm thinking, OK, he's trying to drag me out of the car and uh, do something. And, and instead, I, I sort of grab the door. I'm pulling it shut and we're sort of scuffling. Uh, and, and then I realized, you know, something's really off here and I decided I'm going to try and get the car, but put back in the gear. And then all of a sudden all the doors open, I've got my two kids in the back seat and my mother sitting beside me in the passenger seat and guys with guns jump into the car, nice. uh, and point guns at myself, at my kids. Uh, so yeah, not a pleasant experience, definitely unpleasant. And then anyway, been. So can I keep going? Is that okay? Let I'll, me ask, the, let me ask some, uh, yeah, no, I mean, of course. So when you, when you're pulled over, what kind of road are you on? Like, what's the atmosphere there? Are you in a city? Are you in like rural area? What's it like? No, we're in a city, like right across from the magistrate's office. Like, like, uh, you know, okay. it's at night, so it's dark and the street lights, you know, are sort of half there. Okay. But no, there's lots of traffic. There's cars whipping by us. Like this is in the middle of town. Kind of so idea. as they're holding you guys up with weapons, there's there's people driving by consistently. Yeah, both directions. Like doo, 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 just as if how weird happen. that yeah. probably put your your guard down a little bit getting pulled over like in a city like that. For sure, absolutely. Wow. Yeah. So they. So now, uh, obviously, I'm like, okay, I've got a gun pointed at my head. I'm not going to fight anymore. I'm going to start <laughs> scuffling. So he, the guy pulls me out of the car and then tries to force me into the back seat with my kids. And the back seat is, is, is actually folded down. So I can't really get in. And so the guy starts hitting me in the head with a gun, uh, you know, to either knock me unconscious or get me to move or whatever it was. And I'm like, guys, stop hitting me. I'm just, I'm trying to, we need to move the seat so I can get in. So I get in the back and obviously family is distraught, obviously. Uh, not a pleasant situation at all. Uh, so I'm sitting in the back and now we've got these gangsters, well, I don't know what they call assailants sitting in the back seat with me. And they say, put your heads down and they jump in and they drive off, uh, like unsafely at the speed of light. And they say, keep your heads down, keep your heads down. And I'm like, okay, we're getting, we went from a car sort of hijacking, stealing wallets to, to now some sort of kidnapping experience. Anyway, so they're holding us down uh, against the sort of front of the car, and and now they're threatening us. They're threatening to kill us. They're threatening us with they're you know, hitting me in the head with a flashlight. They're you know as I'm trying to sort of protect my kids, and I'm you know you can imagine all the things going through my head. It's not a pleasant set of thoughts going through my head. Yeah, absolutely. So anyway, they they we drive for about half an hour out into a rural area in the middle of nowhere, and they pull up to the side of. Uh, uh, basically, in the middle, like a little sort of a forested section, and there's a cliff, and literally, then we get out. Of the, they open all the doors to the car, and they start grabbing our wallets and demanding and yelling at us and threatening us, and and basically threatening to kill us and throw us over the cliff. Uh, and then finally, the guy says, "Okay, I want to see your cards, your 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 ATM cards and your credit cards." And I'm like, "Fine, you know, it's just money. I don't care. Like, take it." Like, 
it's all yours. And so I give him the ATM card and he sort of puts the the code. He asks for what the code is. I say, here's the code. Like, take all the money. I don't care. Yeah, like, like a card just... scanner with him? And he, so he went back to a truck. So there was a truck that was following us, a pickup truck. Yeah. The dual with a small back. And uh, and he was testing the card on some sort of device in the okay. back. Then he came back to the car and he said, look, if this is wrong, I'm going <laughs> to kill you and rape your daughter. Jesus. Uh, so, and then there's some other stuff that happened. Like he held my hand, held a gun against my hand and said, if this is, you know, if you, if you do anything, I'm going to blow your hand off, you know, it's sort of all sorts of stuff like that. And he's my mother who just had surgery there. This is, you know, the guy is like sitting on her and I, you know, not violating her, but pushing her around, et cetera. There's some other stuff I won't talk about, but just, just unpleasant behavior in general. How old is your and, daughter? She turned 18 on Kilimanjaro two weeks wow. ago. So they grab me, drag me out of the car, throw me on the ground, and now they're kicking me in the face. I, I, did, I just didn't make any public appearances last week because I was bleeding out of the eyeballs, which is not pleasant. But fortunately, no scars, other, externally anyway. Anyways, they throw me down on the ground, and the guy's pointing a gun at me when the other guy kicks me, and he's demanding money, demanding other stuff. And finally, they're not happy in some reason about what they got, so they grab grab me and they take me back and i'm like obviously this whole time i'm thinking what's going on with my kids is my mom okay and obviously you know i'm the biggest guy around so they're picking on me the most thank god they grab me and they drag me back to the back of their pickup truck and they throw me in the back of the pickup truck and they grab my kids and they throw them in the back of the pickup truck and we also had another child with a 12 year old they threw her in the back of the pickup truck and they and then I didn't know where my mother was this whole time. And then they they put myself, my kids, and they closed the back of the pickup truck. So we're encased in this little dark space in the back of this pickup truck. And they're yelling at us that they're going to kill us and that, you know, we got to be quiet. And then for hours, it turned out to be about three and a half hours, they drove around. And what they did is basically they went to ATM to ATM, pulling money out of cards. Hmm. And they were going to tell us if it was the wrong card or something, they would, you know, pull us out, do whatever. And then they said, okay, we've gotten all the money we can. We're going to take you back to your car. And I'm thinking, okay, well, is, is that real? Like this whole time I'm thinking, I'm dead. Like I've seen their faces. I've seen the license plate. I've seen the make of the car. Like I kind of know where I am. And so now, you know, this is a highly unpleasant situation. And they take us back. And for about an hour, we're now driving back hypothetically to our car. But my son says, look, we're not going back to our car, dad. Like this is... This is obviously farther than we went. And so now I'm having this existential crisis about we're not going to make it. And I'm like, son, like we got to take these guys out or do something about it. Like, I don't know karate or anything like we we just, you know, we got to do something. So I said to the girls, I'm like, you guys need to run when the thing opens and we'll take on the attackers. How uh, old is your son? 15. So we're got this like plan happening and we're like trying to sort of get going. Okay. And I'm certain as soon as I get out of the car, I'm taking a bullet to the head, which is not a pleasant idea. Anyway, so we get out of the car, they're pointing guns at us and our car is actually there. And they're like, okay, jump in the, in the car and you guys can go. And I'm like, okay, what really? Are they going to shoot us on the way out? What's going to happen here? Uh, and eventually we got back in the car. I literally said goodbye to the kidnapping slash bad guys and we drove off holy fuck and just like that wow yeah so it was a it was an amazing holiday punctuated by a perfectly horrible <laughs> experience at the end oh, God, i yeah. highly recommend not doing that uh -huh. if any of you put on holiday by so the way. when you guys right. <clears throat> you guys got back in so what happened they drove your car somewhere else and then yeah, that's what we it. think. We drove our car somewhere else to sort of hide, hide, you know, we've actually got, you know, we'll know where the car went. The police have all this information. We're still tracking our phones. Like, I know exactly where our phones are, which is bizarre. You know, it's, you know, they, they haven't, we can still use find my iPhone and go see where they are. Huh. They're probably, so, you made a good point. Like, you, you knew who they were. You had all the details they, that didn't deter them. It's probably... I would imagine some level of corruption going on there with the police, no? Or or do you not suspect that? The police actually admitted that there was corruption happening. Like they told us flat out, we were we were actually there near where you got kidnapped and we got taken elsewhere as a result of corruption inside the police. Uh, nice. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah. <laughs> so when you guys got back in the car, everyone got in, 
you did you just drive off real quick like what was the what was the temperature in the car i mean obviously there must have been a, a lot of relief to get back in there with everyone but i'm curious what was the feeling and the conversation thereafter yeah the, so immediately the everyone started asking if we're okay but i gotta tell you i still thought we were in danger I presumed that, you know, they could still follow us back. They knew they had our phones, so they now know where we're going. They had our map, like the Google map that I had running. So I'm still thinking they're going to follow us and try and get more out of us or do more stuff. We need to get out of this situation now. Yeah. So I just left. There was stuff on the ground. We just left the stuff, jumped in the car, and immediately <laughs> drove off. Uh, and as soon as we found people, which is about 20 minutes later, we asked them where we were, and they said, you're going the wrong way. And here, here's the next part. So we actually drove back, and the first city we hit, or town, was called White River. We stopped at the White River police station, and we're like, hey, we just got kidnapped. This is a horrible situation. And they literally just looked at us. They were like, yeah, you know, there's nothing we can do. You're Canadians. Like, uh, sorry. And I'm like, what? I've, You're supposed to be wow. the police. Yeah, I've heard like, that what? in South Africa specifically, the crime is really crazy. Like, I've heard people saying that people, there's certain neighborhoods, you don't stop at the red lights because it's just so dangerous. Yeah, well, I don't plan to go back to uh, South Africa anytime soon. I got, I, at this point, through the macro attitude is I don't want to go back to Africa. Maybe I'm not going to let my children out of their rooms. I'm just going to wrap them in pillows. <laughs> right. And, like, yeah. Tape and, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but now I'm calming down a little bit. I'm like, okay, we can go travel elsewhere. Just let's lay off Africa for a while. So you guys drove off about, you said about 20 minutes to the nearest police station and they yeah. didn't, they didn't care. Yeah. And I literally, I just, I was like, guys back in the car, we're going to another police station. So put everybody back in the car and we drove to the bigger city. We actually drove back to two blocks where the guys, from where the guys picked us up. Mm. Uh, that's where the big local police station was. And once we got there, to be honest, they were, they were a little bit confused. Literally, they said, hey, well, we're, we really can't help you. You know, you're Canadians. I'm not sure what, what we're going to do. And as it happened, there was a, a member of the tourism board there. And the tourism person freaked out on them and was like, guys, we got to do something for these people. And I got to say, she was a rock star. And she sort of helped us all the way through the thing. And suddenly we're in contact with the embassy. And then we had, you know, the sort of SWAT team showed up and, you know, it turned oh, wow. into a thing. And suddenly it's seven o'clock in the morning and we're sitting at home with guys with machine guns everywhere. And literally I packed my bags, took my kids, put them on a plane and ran away. Like I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh so, man, that is harrowing. That is a horrible experience. But thankfully, is, I mean, I'm so, I'm so happy for you that everyone is safe. Guys, it's so nice to see you guys. Yeah. I can't tell you that was, it is. And honestly, thank you for having me on here. You know, uh, somebody said to me, when you go through a really traumatic experience, if you if you hold it in and you keep it to yourself, then you have to carry it with you for the rest of your life. But if you share it with people that you love, uh, then they can carry a little tiny bit for you. So mm -hmm. I love you guys and love your family. I appreciate it. Damn. Thank you so much. Thanks. The, 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 the feeling is mutual. Oh, yeah. So <clears throat> you guys, uh, you guys flew home like the same day, the, na the night after came home yeah. and, uh, and got a plane. How are the kids doing? Ah, amazing. My children are like, I think I hard boiled them at some point. I gotta say, I, I, I have these moments where I realize I'm a terrible father because <laughs> You know, you shouldn't have put your kids through this. Like, it's not something that you should never have put your kids in a situation. I wouldn't blame yourself for that one. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. You know, I, life either grinds you down or polishes you up. Just depends on what you decide you're made of. Mm -hmm. So I think that they're, they're just been amazing. Like, I can't stop crying. They're fine. <laughs> so maybe we'll get them later. <laughs> wow. So, yeah. I, I'm curious. How did they know? How did they spot you guys, do you think? They probably... I, identified you guys as tourists right ahead of the time yeah they actually admitted that so they said that they knew us i'm not sure like maybe this is psychological stuff but they we had previously stopped at a mcdonald's oddly enough uh and they said that they saw us at the mcdonald's and they followed us uh my hair was not green at that point uh you know it had sort of washed out to uh kilimanjaro white uh, so I, I, I doubt they recognized me. I think they just recognized us as rich people. And we were driving a rental car. Like I, you know, it wasn't a nice rental car. It was just a normal ass rental car. So mm -hmm. 
you know. Now, I would also say that they had hijacked or tried to hijack somebody the night before, and they hijacked somebody two days later, and, they, you know, it's it's an ongoing issue for that region. So the police huh. really don't care about it at all. These guys are doing this, like, just day to day. Apparently. Uh, yeah, this is great for the tourism there. I agree. The, I'm sure everybody's racing to, to visit beautiful South yeah. Africa. I feel I feel bad for them for that. This cannot be good for their entire industry. You know, for for a, a very poor place, you know, to scare off everybody that might come and spend money there. Look, there are not enough zebras <laughs> or giraffes in the entire world that make me want to go back to that place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, well, it's the site of a great trauma for you guys. Yeah. Um, so they. Uh, my question is. Uh, so you dyed your hair since coming back. How long since when you landed did you go back green? Uh, Sunday, you know what, my, uh, there, there's like trauma counselors who have been in front of all these trauma counselors and they're really helpful and everything. But I got to tell you, there's nothing better than going and seeing your hairstylist. <laughs> the barber. Yeah, that is the way. Uh, so I, I love my hairstylist and she looked after me very well. And honestly, like shaving off all of the like noise of all of that was like the moment that I'm like, okay, now I'm back. I can continue to go back to doing loving things like helping businesses and making music and dancing and stuff like stuff that it's positive for the world. Mm. Wow. Well, that's an experience. I hope that nobody ever goes through. That is really, really tough. I agree. I agree. How, how much money did they steal from you in the end? Like, uh, through all the trips to ATMs and stuff. Uh, we lost about $20,000. Oh, the wow. End. About 10 in cash and 10 in stuff. Oh, okay. Uh, truth is, I don't care. You know, I, I had yeah. every insurance I thought that you could get, but every insurance company is like, oh, no, you didn't have this and you're in a car. And so car insurance doesn't cover it because this is supposed nice. to cover it. And I spent about a day calling insurance companies. And now I'm like, okay, I can go make $20,000 faster than I can talk to you, insurance companies. You yeah. Suck. Yeah. Oh, well, that's great. That's a nice cosign for the insurance uh, out there. <laughs> for the insurance world. They're yeah. like, excuse me, you didn't have terrorism insurance. So. Literally, that's one of the things they said. They like, yeah. what if this is an act of God? I'm like, this is definitely not an that act of God. That is an act of a human sure. being, literally. That is, yeah. <laughs> that is the very intentional act of a human being. Yeah. So you work, are you, uh, you inspired here? Are we circular? Are we rectangular? Has it changed your shape at all? <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, you know, comments have said, you know, are you, are you going to now go all dark and start writing like dark music? I, I don't know. But, you know, to date, most of my music is about bad relationships. And so it's already depressing enough. Mm -hmm. I should be about how happy and amazing I am. So I'm not an amazing artist that sits down and creatively knows exactly what they're going to write like a Taylor Swift. I'm more like collecting toenails you know i just have like a jar of emotions and i put right, stuff right, in right. at the end i'm like hey look at this crazy jar i have of music and so it's probably gonna come out in some horrible way later i'm sorry for that in advance oh yes uh, <laughs> we accept your apology but we'll be watching regardless yay yay Great oh brother guy. well that's well i mean honestly at the end of the day i'm just relieved you guys are all okay you know that that was that was a i know it's weird to say but it's it's a happy ending in the sense that you guys gotten they brought you back to your car and you guys left. I mean, that's that's amazing. It is, right? Like when you get your kids back at the end. You know, my, my uh, advice for travelers is always never take anything you can't afford to lose with you traveling, uh, including your life. So if you're traveling and you're afraid you're going to lose your wallet or your keys or your special sweater, don't take your sweater with you. But it's a whole other thing when you take your kids traveling because you can't afford to lose your kids. And so the you know, for me, it's this huge thing. Do I take my kids traveling ever again or do I keep them in their rooms? Like I, I have to like, do some counseling around that for the rest of my life, probably. Well, they're, they're close to being adults now, but yeah, I, I, I see where you're, you, you, you're feeling a tremendous amount of guilt for what happened to the kids. Yeah. You know what? Definitively, they're both adults now. Like any shred of children <laughs> that they have is gone now. I'm sorry to say that's maybe the guilt that I have. Like, how do you have innocence left after you've, you know, been thrown in the back of a truck and kidnapped? That's uh, unpleasant. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. No, I don't feel like a great dad in this situation. I feel like a terrible father. Well, well did you, did you go there knowing that like, uh, it's extremely dangerous? I wouldn't expect to get kidnapped anywhere for Christ's sake, visiting your mom. Yeah. I, I mean, she's been there 
35 years and never had that problem. Yeah, exactly. I, you know, and I drive down the street every day and lots of people have car accidents and I'm not expecting to have a car accident. Right. But, you know, if you drive incredibly unsafely, you're more likely to have a car accident. And if you travel to the depths of Africa, you're more likely to get kidnapped. I, I think that those are so the increase of likelihood, like I as a person, I absorb a lot of risk. And, you know, sometimes when you push the boundaries, the boundaries push back. Mm. It just sucks when it happens. Well, I'm glad you guys are all okay. I hope you're not too hard on yourself there, but, and I hope you guys are all getting like, you guys are all doing like therapy and stuff after that. Oh, for sure. From yeah. hairdresser to professional <laughs> all the way through. And, you know, coming and talking to you. Is, yes. That's what, the best, ther the most that. therapeutic <laughs> people have said. Woo. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, you're going to do a test whether you're a therapist or not. That it's a good story. I mean, I'll say for the kids, like if I had a kidnapping story, if I was in college, that'd be kind of dope. That'd be sick. Like, <laughs> true, true. like I was kidnapped. Like what? That's crazy. That's a good story. And we'll have a story for a long time. The one thing is you, you want to sort of balance having a good story and not it, it being the narrative of your life. Like being a sure. victim who got kidnapped. Like that sucks. Like I don't, to be honest, like I don't want to be known as the guy who got kidnapped. That sucks as a narrative. No, nah, you're the I mean, rectangular guy. guy. Yeah, rectangular guy. Let's go back Here, to that. Yeah. I'll I say that. it's you're so close to the incident, it feels like that, but I promise you that that won't be the case. Not not at all. Yeah, you're not yeah. gonna be the kidnapped guy. Promise. The kidnapped guy. Yeah, that, now so totally people are gonna are gonna come up to me on the street and be like, Hey, you're the kidnapped guy. No, <laughs> no, no. Don't do that. Hey. I was at an Oliver Tree concert on Monday night, which is like our first as a family first outing. And uh, I got, you know, accosted by everybody who was like, you're the H3 guy, which is. Oh, amazing. that's good. It wasn't yeah, the kidnapping yeah. thing. No, it wasn't the kidnapping did, guy. Did anyone know you were kidnapped? Yeah, you know, a bunch of people did. Most people knew me as rectangular, like we're yeah. seeing rectangular line and things like that. So <laughs> thank you for that. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I think uh, if you're hearing it, people, it's just because people care. But I, I don't think in a year people are going to still be saying kidnap guy, especially with well, all the tremendous music and all the shapes we look forward to celebrating. Right. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I'm going to do my best to do beautiful, amazing things for the rest of my life and be known for that instead. Yes, for sure. Yes. Yes. Although I might have to write some really terrible, low effort book at some point, you know, just no, I won't. I promise that. Well, there I'm there for whatever, man. I don't want to write a book about this. I want it to be over yeah. and move on. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, Yikes. I'm glad you guys are okay. That's a hell of a, that's a hell of a story. Thank you. So yeah. is there any advice you give people traveling there? Uh, is there anything you wish you did differently that might help other people? Or did you feel it just kind of came on you so <laughs> fast? Yeah, it just came on real fast. You know, when you travel stuff, Bad stuff does happen. I mean, I've traveled all over the world, not just in the last year, but for all of my life. And every once in a while, like if you talk to somebody who's been to 50 countries, they will tell you they've been mugged or held up or, you know, it's unfortunately part of the yeah. traveling world. And if you don't, but you also get to see beautiful things and taste beautiful things and meet beautiful people. And there's all sorts of positives that come with it. So... You know, I might need to take a break for a little bit. I'm going to visit safe places like, I don't know, Ukraine. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. There you go. I, I know. <laughs> the front I'm, line. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, I mean, Sweden. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, there you go. Don't Love say like that. that. You're going to get you're going to get mugged and kidnapped. Or Absolutely. Something. Not. <laughs> Absolutely. I guarantee don't you. Don't jinx it. But I, yeah. Uh, Sweden is very safe, right? Yeah. Definitely. No kidnappings? No, I don't think very so. Very little. Very little. Low level of kidnapping. Mm -hmm. Iceland, okay. Iceland doesn't even have mosquitoes. Like that's a Iceland, place. Iceland you'll be good. Cuz everybody <laughs> knows everyone there. If you just, you know, they'll they'll be like, "Oh, there goes uh, Kevin. He's there kidnapping is, again." There is volcanoes just kind of perpetually erupting. Out. True. Oh, Natural disasters. Have you considered that? You know, oh, form of actually, uh, that's a terrible place to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the natural <laughs> disaster waiting to happen. Where's the safest yeah, place for you to go, I wonder? Disneyland? Disneyland. Is People have died at Disney, but overall it's probably safe. <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> apparently <laughs> even with even with the volcanoes, Iceland is the safest place on earth. Really? Uh, that uh, according to Google. So The safest. And by what metric do they measure that? Uh Let's see. Uh it looks like it's actually some like UN organization. That sounds good. Sean. 
Safe yeah, safe. that's okay. I think Iceland must be the next place I travel. That's good, you good. got to be back on the horse at some point, right? Yeah. Uh, so, you know, or I should also come to LA, but is LA safe? I don't know. Are you, do you guys yeah, feel safe? Moderately. I, I mean, think probably, there, there's, there's yeah. ki- kidnappings are. It's a big city. They happen probably every now and then. No, I'm kidding. I think it's a, I think it's a safe city. I mean, obviously, there's certain neighborhoods that you won't go to. <laughs> like you have to intentionally go there. It's true. They're going to be unsafe, but um, anywhere that you would be traveling in LA, I'm sure would is. I, I feel safe here personally. Yeah, I like LA. Right on. Well, that I'll put that on my list as well. Iceland and LA. Those. Yeah. There you go. Awesome. Not as safe as Iceland, though. I can't yeah, make no, that no, guarantee. Not quite. You. Not quite. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, well, I got to. I got to reorganize all the places I want to go in my bucket list to the degree of safety now. <laughs> you know, instead of the degree yeah. of fun, skydiving is definitely off the list. <laughs> well, Sean, I'm glad everyone's okay, and I uh, appreciate you calling in and sharing your story with us. That's good. Yeah, you guys, listen, it's so nice to see your faces and still be alive. We well, look forward say. to We got to get you a live performance going here soon. That would be super fun. I would love to do that. Yes. Yeah, we'll make that. We'll, we'll figure that out. But um, there it is. Sean Stevens. Sean Stevens. All right. Love you all. Thank Stay you. rectangular, my friend. Stay rectangular. Exactly. exactly. Stay rectangular. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you later. Take care. Bye. As I said, not funny. It's not funny. It's pretty traumatic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's like a, I mean, that's like a bona fide nightmare. Yeah. Oh yeah. my God. I'm so happy they're okay. They could have so easily not been. Yeah. That's really got to be like the greatest relief of your life when they're just like, okay, mm-hmm. here's your car. I mean, I guess. Uh, I'm just speculating here, but they were probably wise enough to realize that killing foreign nationals yeah. would get get them in a lot more trouble than it's worth. You know that would have I mean? been news. Their kidnapping was news. Yeah, I mean, and that I mean that oftentimes ha- like if like a, an American citizen say is traveling overseas and gets up, murdered, the American government will lean on that country to make sure it gets properly investigated and everything. Whereas, you know them being Canadian, they probably realized, eh, it's, it's probably just a lot easier to just send them on their way. Well, and especially we if the wanted. police don't fucking <laughs> do right, anything exactly. anyway. I'm guarantee that there's police chiefs and police sergeants or whatever getting rubbed down. Yeah, they're getting 20,000. If they're that. doing that, that's crazy numbers, man. If they're doing that on a daily that's basis. True. That's very true. Fuck. That's horrible. I'm Can scared they- now. Yeah, it made me so sad to hear him say that he feels like a bad dad. Yeah, he that's sounds tough. Like, yeah, he's, that story makes you, him sound like a wonderful dad <laughs> who cares so much about his kids. That's tough, because it's mm-hmm. like the trauma makes you think fucked up things. I kind of empathize with him mm-hmm. in the sense that like, I, but it's, it's not his fault. It's just horrible that he's going to feel that way, mm-hmm. you know. He called Ethan Zach. Somebody said, I didn't notice. He called me Zach, apparently. Are you the one talking to him, Zach? No, Olivia is. So, Zach, okay. Wait, he called you, Zach? That's what people are saying in chat. I think... No, you called Wait, him. Oh, called I called him, him Zach? Zach? Yeah. Why did I call him... No, I... I mean, I didn't hear that. Why did I call him Zach? Chat, Maybe you must have misheard me. <laughs> Maybe. Hmm. Why did I call him Zach? Pull you gotta tape. pull it back. Yeah, you gotta pull the pull tape. Pull the tape. Pull it up, somebody. You yes. gotta pull it. Oh, uh, well, fuck me, man. Now let's get back to our roots. <laughs> Imagine if you got a low table got got a low table table fade. Fade. So what happened with Panera? It's a 30 minute drive. We ordered though. Le- Leanna's ordered. Oh, we did order. It's gonna be a while, but we ordered. It's, it's been ordered. Fuck yeah. yeah. Is I'm there so an grateful. ETA? I'm so excited. It says it's going to be ready for pickup um, at 340. So what? for the driver to pick it up, yeah. What? And then, it's not going to be ready for pickup for an hour? Mm-hmm. They're like really busy apparently. Hold the phone. There's no way I'm going to get that food before. Yeah, that's that's, that's a how rip. it was last time too. That's a rip, GG. If they're if they're picking it up at 340 and it's 30 minutes away. Ain't no way. It's not going to get here until 440. Five. Can you cancel it still? Let me see. 
If not, then we just gotta let it fly, but... If we can cancel, I guess... We can just make our own super... Supercharged. Someone just get me lemonade and some ca caffeine powder and let's get weird with it. it makes like a five hour energy. Fuck yeah, dude. I do 50 hour energy. Mm-hmm. Never sleep again. Um, okay, we got the, we have the, um, the timestamp here. Did I call Sean Zach? The question is on everybody's mind. Let's take a look here. Roll it. Roll thank it. you. Thank you there, my friend. Say rectangular, Zach. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Wait, you. What? Hold on. Thank you there, my friend. Say rectangular, exactly. exactly. Maybe it said exactly. Do you envision me as a rectangular exactly? being? Exactly. Hmm. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. I, thank why would I say that? Thank you. Oh, well, maybe you wanted him to play the rectangular sound. Thank you there, my friend. Well, I would have remembered that if that if I was giving Zach a direction. Hmm. Say rectangular, exactly. exactly. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you there, my friend. I, I, okay, alright. He's Zach. There's a little Zach in all of us, you know? <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. We all Zach. Yeah. I'm curious if he saw the performance of the, the song. I wanna know how oh, he, shit. he thought. Oh, Oh, shit. Did we send it to him? We should send it to him. I'll Make sure he sees him. it. Yeah. Zach shredded that shit live. Mm. I Oh, what a horrible experience. That's why I don't really go to Mexico anymore. I've talked about this, but I love Mexico as a, as a country. It's so beautiful. The food, the people, everything about it is just amazing. The weather, I love everything about it, but the um, cartel there is nuts. It's just, there's so much gang violence and shit and kidnappings, you know? Right. Even the police are like fucking gang members when I... Shakedowns. Sucks. It's so close and such a great place. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. Mexico is so much fun, man. So much fun. Eh. All right. Imagine him ninja got a <sighs> low table fade. So I guess I'll explain that. <laughs> Imagine him ninja got a low table fade. So this guy Eric Doa was doing freestyles on Twitch, and apparently this banger just was imagined in his mind. Urged. It's like Tupac says, just dead homies speaking through me. <laughs> They're like asking me, Eric, why the fuck you make the songs by masturbation? I said, Is it? Why this is an hour long, I'm assuming. It time. sounds like the song. It yeah, was is there time a timestamp? Let me uh so I have a feeling that he we don't get to that juicy <laughs> that uh, big drop. Pro, yeah. Uh link proverb. to the clip uh number three in the doc if you want uh that's just what, that part. I think that's what I clicked. Let me try again. Oh. Okay. Imagine him ninja got a low table face. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Uh, low taper. Well, you're about I mean, to I know find what a fade out. is. You're about to find out. Low you do. You, maybe you just don't realize it's called that. Yeah, I just, I don't know. Okay, so it's a pretty standard. It's a popular look these days. Yeah. I yeah. usually get a low taper fade. You got a low, <laughs> is it a low tapered fade? Yeah, I usually, yeah, that's why. I is there get. high tapered fades? Is there different? Yeah. yeah. So what's a, let me look. What's a high tapered fade? <laughs> Just out of curiosity. Hands. That's clean, but a clean fade right there. That's Austin McBroom. <laughs> that boy got lined up good. So that's a high taper fade where it goes really high up on your dome. The double hairline. Mm -hmm. I find the fade so funny because like I feel like it shouldn't work too. They cut it so high up. <laughs> like there's no hair. Mm. The man has no hair next to his ears. Like, I have hair here. I've learned so much about hair in the last uh, few months because Chantal, she's a fully licensed barber now. Oh. Um, so I've learned all these different types of haircuts and hair tricks. So it, it's interesting how there's different names for them. Does she do fades? Yeah. Yeah. High tapered and low tapered? High tapered, low tapered, mid tapered, you know. They accidentally, last time I got my hair cut, 
they accidentally gave me a fit <laughs> and I wanted to leave this much on the side. <laughs> and I was, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I was so upset. It was the two days before the live show. I was like, I'm going to look clean for the live show. And they fucked me up. And I, I got so like <laughs> down in the barbershop when I was like, bro, you cut everything off. <laughs> and he was like, I, I'm not going to make, you're not paying for this. And I was like, I'll pay. But, but I felt like <laughs> oh, he, he didn't got, let me pay. He bailed. Because I got so upset. Up. I wasn't mean or anything. I was just visibly very you upset. Depressed. You were sad about it. Probably yeah. looked fresh though, right? No, he did. Not, he, <laughs> He came in not feeling himself, but I told him he looked really good. I like that's the, the thing. Yeah, like, I thought it looked good. Yeah. No, he yeah. looked goofy as fuck. I don't <laughs> think the so. Proportions are all fucked up now. He was texting the group chat through the whole thing. He was like, "You guys, something horrible yeah, I think happened." Got <laughs> fucked up. I think I sent a picture of it. Maybe I think the fade actually is a nice cut. It just, if to me, it's so high, it feels like it would be silly, but it, it, it is a nice. It's a nice cut. Well, I like it because I could just be messy on top if the sides are faded, because it looks like you're not just. You didn't just let yourself ah, go. Ah, you're clean. I should try doing a fade once. That'd be fire, right? You have Imagine one. if Ethan got a low tape for fade. He got one. Wait, when did I get it? Imagine we did a segment with the fire, uh, the fire haircut outside. I got a fade on that? Yeah. H3 fire, let's see. H3 fire haircut. Imagine if Ethan got a low tape for Wonder. fade. Low tape for fade. What is this? Wait, why is this a picture of Moses? Wonder if he got the fire haircut? The fuck? This is the weirdest post ever. That'd be number one. <laughs> I, probably after we did that segment right after. Let's see. Um. Here. Here's the highlight, I think. Yeah, Coming up, it. Ian's beard. <laughs> Ian's been getting a, a lot of comments on his beard, so we're going to have a whole segment about... Ian... So let's see the final product here. Let me see that fade. Immensely painful, right? I mean, he's got a flame on his head for like- Oh, this is just- okay, I'm out. This isn't the sketch. I'm looking for it. Yeah, you could just send me a screenshot, that'd be easier. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, um, so this meme got- has a lot of legs to the point where... Uh, Ninja actually did get the low tapered fade. We <laughs> sure got- did. we got an answer to the question. <laughs> you don't have to imagine it anymore. Here is uh, a covers. Imagine if Ninja got a low tape effect. Uh, <laughs> imagine if Ninja got a low tape effect. Uh, I bet he seen more moving. He'd be like stacking back, kiss over stacking bandies. Bet that thought your joke would have fucking landed up. With his low saber Damn, dude, it's, it's, <laughs> wow. a, it's a beautiful song. Yeah. It really is. Makes me feel something. Like, there's really <laughs> something about this low tapered fade. Hello. Uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> There's another one. <laughs> this shit is. This Fortnite is so bizarre. You have Family Guy, <laughs> Jack Family Guy. This all makes so much sense to me. And then when he does, the song, he know? starts doing like, uh, <laughs> Super Saiyan, yeah. Jacked Family Guy, yeah. only in Fortnite. I imagine we got our first nominee for next year's, uh, Steamies for Song of the Year. Song of the Year, baby. Low Tapered Fade. It's much appreciated, uh, out in the world. What is this? Hello. A tornado flew around. Oh. This is just a copyrighted song. Mm -hmm. Seven million views? Okay. I'm not gonna watch it, though. Uh, Brooklyn Nets, join the fun. Imagine if Ninja got a low <laughs> table <laughs> fade. Imagine if Ninja. So okay, interesting. <laughs> so Ninja responded to the phenomenon. Let's pull that up. He says he might get it, but here's the video he posts. He gets the legendary fade. I gotta say, I'm disappointed with this video. I, I, he could have done a, a much better reveal. I felt like this was really thrown together. Really? You know? it, it was such an epic moment. Like, look how he films it, you know? Like, that's it. Like, he could have done something way more epic, like... Mm. Had some sort of hat on and... Close up that comes out. Yeah, I mean, this right. is like, what is this? Close up on the fade itself and then mm. tracking shot up, the truck up. Up reveal. Exactly, Make it's it Ninja. Artful, yeah. And it's not funny. It's not too late, Ninja. You can still do better. 
Also, the, I don't like how he's so happy. <laughs> he's feeling himself, it. dude. Hold on. Keep yeah. that playing. I, 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 I think he should be serious in this video. I don't like He's celebrity. really feeling himself. Hey. Oh. <laughs> yeah, be serious. This matters to people. You know what I mean? He, he flopped it. Yeah. But anyway, oh we, we, um, we got the answer. What, what would happen if Ninja got a low tapered fade? And the answer we got is that nothing, ha nothing happened. Okay. Well... Not quite true. Nothing happened. We got an answer, fellas. Excuse me. Official NFL TikTok posted a video. Could you imagine if I got a low taper face? Why did they post this? Oh. Wait, why the fuck do they post this? Is this an ad? Oh. Hold on. What is it's this? Over. Could you imagine if I got a low this is, I feel like this is an ad. Oh, no. This is a collaboration. Yeah, yeah, no, this is an official NFL account. So somebody okay. at the marketing team of NFL, by the way, it got 2 million likes, so something's happening. Yeah. That makes no sense. Well, he's a, he's a huge Detroit Lions fan, so I think. So <laughs> oh, he is. Of, yeah. You know a lot about Ninja. <laughs> Shout yeah. out Lions. They won their first something since 1993. Yeah, they're kicking ass right now. Where is that video? I want to know how many views it got. But um, it seems to me that someone in marketing was like, we got to get that low tapered fade out on the field. Gave him some tickets. Could you imagine if I got a... God, Ninja has the best life. Like, he was just good at a video game for like one year. Yeah. And oh. then he got, he made like $50 million. And oh, people still oh, talk about him like he's relevant. And now he has a brawler's wife giving him sandwiches. It doesn't day. get better. He is relevant. He's 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 the comeback. He's the kid. most relevant he's been in years. You yeah, know what you're talking right. about. Maybe he's back. Yeah. You know what you're talking about. Ninja's so back. I got yeah. multi millions in the bank account, right? I got more money <laughs> than your entire fucking family tree has had in the last probably a thousand years combined. <laughs> what happened? Did did he's you real down the, to earth? Did I you like see that the clip about him. of him flossing recently? The yeah, recent I saw floss it. video. I, I I saw him flossing again, but you don't care. Not really. You don't care. <laughs> Well, now that you you mention it, we can we can review it. I got a it. smoke and a hot wife. You know what I'm Maybe saying? it'll help. I don't know. I thought this clip was pretty powerful. What if I had a brawless wife that brought me a sandwich? <laughs> when we went home, my cousin and his wife were wearing ninja merch, unironically, and I love them. They watch the show, so I'm just. I'm not going to talk to Well, shit, I loved Ninja too for a second. Then he betrayed me. I forget what he did or said, but I remember he betrayed me. He did betray you, yeah. What did he do yeah, that pissed him? He sued, and it's not funny. Tried to sue Pokemon. He was goofing on you for getting banned on Twitter. Oh, yeah. That's for no reason. Yeah. The Elon Musk shit. Like, bro, I we, we, we could have been friends and you fucking went and simped for Elon Musk. He has what? plenty of friends, as you're about to see in this clip. He has, so, he has too many friends. That's from him making fun of me. Mm -hmm. I, I thought comedy was alive and well. <laughs> <laughs> I did not say that, okay? By the way, uh, said something kind of like that. Maybe in jest. Ethan looks like he's ten years younger with this haircut. Oh, this is the fade. Oh, yeah. people like it. See, but the dudes that I saw, really their hairline is like way up here. Wait, wait, wait. I was say that's not really. A fade. Hold on. This is Ethan's hair we're talking about. So that was probably after a week's worth of growth. Right. I mean, mm. maybe that's an Ethan fade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I couldn't so find the sketch. This isn't a high taper fade. You know what I'm saying? It was. It's like mid taper, I'd say. That's a low ass taper fade. But again, I'm gonna need to see the sketch because. Oh, that's a super low one. Uh, I'd say. I don't see anything fading. There's no fade. Hey, there is fade. See how it's like uh, on the bottom? It's less dense. I think it's just because of the angle. I think it's a like grown out fade. No, I remember. I remember. Mm. I remember Ethan looking at me. Mid getting his haircut, he's like, AB's loving this right now. Okay. I'll like, get I, a high tapered, or no, not high. I'll get a low tapered. Low, low tapered. Low yeah. tapered My low next tapered. haircut will be a low tapered fade. <laughs> Hell yeah. People love this haircut, huh? This is Ethan looks 10 years younger. Balenciaga. So now with losing weight Balenciaga. and if I get a haircut, then apparently I'm going to look 20. <laughs> yes, sir. And the tattoo. That's how it works. It's all cumulative. And the tattoo. Wow. We won't recognize Wearing him. flannel. Youthful. You're so hipster, yeah, right? I am oh. so youthful right now. I'm feeling it. I've He's tried to learn. Boys over there. I've tried to learn for years how to give myself a taper, and I always fuck it up. 
it's it, it got so bad that I just gave Cam my my brand new razor. I bought one brand new one to try it out, and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna. I fucked up my hair, and I gave it to Cam. It doesn't <laughs> seem it something easily done to yourself. The fade, you know what I mean? Yeah. Goo. Goo. You. <laughs> Goo. All right, we got so much stuff to get to. Let's see. You're just avoiding this video. Avoiding what? Oh, sure, I'll open it. I'm not avoiding the floss. I'll I'll look at the floss. No. No. Yes. Nah, bro. Hey, we're New Yorkers in the rain. We ain't got, got tons of friends. The first uh, public flossing event since his disastrous New York. It's the Nightcap Ninja Times Year New Review, year. dude. Another New Year flossing event. What is this? This was his end of the year New Year's Eve uh, stream. But is it sponsored? Is it just this him? Who like are all these people? Sponsored by Game Square. Judging by the uh, <laughs> see that right that's what I don't get. How many people watch this shit? Eighty five thousand, eighty five thousand people. Well, watch this. this is just a clip. Find me the. I want to know how many people watch this event. Okay, let's find out. And then I want to complain about a, why nobody pays me to. I do bet it was shit. a big event. It was a million. It has a million. Yeah. You it's find about. it? Yep. Okay. I get a million every episode, basically, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much, if you round up. I feel like after a month or two, maybe. Yeah, after sure. the break, all all has passed a mil. Okay. That was actually cool. I noticed that because everyone was, I guess, there was a lot of people desperate for content. Yeah. So, juicers. We're back. Desperate for us. Anyway, Ninja, go ahead. Don't. <laughs> Please show I'm going to watch. No one should. No one should. No one should. This might be inappropriate and stop me, but is she wearing a bra? I can't tell. Uh, well, she's double layered, so it, it is hard to tell. It's but that's also, to... yeah, it's not super appropriate. It's not. Okay. He brought it up, though. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. come. Uh, it's not usually Jesus. something I ask uh, about women. <laughs> just for the it's record. real simple, guys. It's real simple. The company I work for took away our paid holidays this year, and we complained on our fake Facebook website. And the higher ups removed the post. God bless America. Oh, yeah. How do you do that? How do you just take away? Like in in America, most people get so little time off. Like there is no minimum guarantee of holidays. Period. And a lot of people, they don't get shit. How the fuck... How... Do you think expect just, people to live? No breaks? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. No breaks. That's crazy. And it's not funny. <laughs> when I was working in huh? Israel full-time, there was like a man mandatory... The minimum was seven days. Which isn't a lot. I think... But... They also had like 10 days or something such that was mandatory holidays, times off. Yeah, I think it's pretty standard uh, in most of Europe as well to and, have yeah, several. 17 days out of 365 is not a lot, you know? But you know what's even less than 17? Zero. <laughs> most people get Christmas off. <laughs> generous. If their boss is generous like me. <laughs> Okay, go ahead, Ninja. I put this off for too long. Can we get? Can we cue that music? Give me some of that jumping music. All right. So you want to do a little? You want? Whoop. Bro, we know how to do <laughs> it. Come on, dude. Yeah, dude. Love says Ninja averaged thirteen thousand viewers that stream. <laughs> Who's paying him? Where's my money? Game Square. Game Square. What's up? Where's Game Square at? I don't know what Game Square is, but I don't know what Game Square is, but I'll learn if you pay Game me. Game Square. Nobody wants to pay me. Nobody cares. Poor Ethan Klein. Poor broke Ethan Klein. Yeah. <laughs> Poor guy. I, I guess I just don't understand the industry. You know, Ninja. He he's was hot. hot. He was hot five years ago, but we're not doing exclusive. Mm. He's not hot like exclusive live stream well, New Year. Well, if you could be block. a well-behaved little boy, we would probably have more ads. Bro, since but I got you, this fucking button, you. that's not since, you. Yeah, people have they don't have goldfish memories. I remember two years ago. I assume it sucks because right before we got the button, I feel like is when people really started bailing. Well, that's after why the we Ben got Shapiro it. one. That's, yeah, that's right. why we got it. Which that's why we got it. Yeah, exactly. Which actually, speaking of that, let me watch the man f fucking do his floss. Jesus. And then we'll, I'll talk about Benny Boy. I'm sorry, man, but a grown- My whole chat's moving, man. I'll take it, man. Oh, he Three should minutes. not have done that. <laughs> Nobody did it with him again. 
<laughs> that was ask, the whole thing. Wait, right? did he? Were people supposed to do it with him? <laughs> they all came out. My whole chat. Not even his wife. Just, just before this happens, butt. they all come out and surprise him, saying, "I'm not seeing enough movement." Everybody says that, and then nobody else moves when he does it. <laughs> Hold on. He's. Let me go back. He's sponsored by State sure? Farm and uh, State Farm and Insurance the, and the pizza place. What Domino's? Domino's. Yeah, I saw that too. <laughs> what <laughs> Everything the fuck? Everything in one stream. Who's the fuck? I guarantee that man is not selling any pies. <laughs> uh -oh. You want to sell pies? Come to the H3 podcast. Yep. Dude, I will. We'll push, sell pies. I'll push pepperoni out. To we'll the eat pizza on every episode. Guarantee it. He has no pizza experience. I'll yeah. be like, hey guys, two for one. Two larges with one topping for the price of one right now at Domino's. Everybody call it. You know how many pizzas people would be... You know how many pizzas we sell? Yeah, the, his NFL video did crazy. 16 million. But I feel... I don't put that on him. That's the meme. That, that was the strength of the meme. This is not a ninja yeah. experience. You know. But th there would be no meme without ninja. Okay, well, there'd be no world without God. <laughs> yeah, this is exactly. getting into the existential shit again. <laughs> Zach is freaking out, Dan. <laughs> cool it! Listen, the, the existence of Ninja precedes the essence of the meme that flows from Okay, but like memes, just if somebody's a meme doesn't mean that they're a cultural like phenomenon that deserves to have pepperoni yeah, but it, sponsors. It, Ninja has that right, that right combination of traits that make it funny for somebody to sing a song about imagining him getting a low taper fade. You got it wouldn't you can't swap ninja out for somebody what else. What if Trump you know I mean? had a low tapered fade? That's funny. <laughs> that is it's really funny. Same. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that because is Because what if? That would be crazy. Yeah, what if Trump had a low tapered ninja, fade? He would get a low tapered fade. Yeah. It's not unusual. But Donald Trump or the Pope? But that I think Pope? that's the thing. The yeah. fact that Ninja did get it is part of what makes the Trump meme didn't work. Look Trump well. wouldn't get that. So it's well, then, then that that'd be a really a good question then. Yeah, because well, Ninja, got, we know the answer. It's you got just... Adam, Eve, and Tyler Blevins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. We love them. They they they're the genesis. Truly, it's a snake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see this. What did you guys make? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Look at all these people. Not... All these people who are spending their New Year's Eve night. Not with their loved ones, not with their family, not with their kids, <laughs> but with ninja fucking Blevins. Hell yeah. Like, how is this worth 13,000 views, mm -mm. live views? And he's making everyone else wear that dumb t-shirt. Yeah, he's, I don't see him in that fucking no. t-shirt. Uh-uh. Even his wife is sporting it, not him. Austin has a shirt on, dude. Rob, are you kidding me, dude? It's ridiculous, man. <laughs> I'm not supposed to do anything, right? I don't actually... Oh, you is his personality even that good? No. No, right? He's good at Fortnite. <laughs> he became famous because he kind of was toxic. Oh, he, really? Now he lost that, so not even funny anymore. He doesn't have like a great personality to be no. hosting. You guys are hating. I, I'm yeah, gonna I go to bed. Well, he, well he I don't watch energy. Ninja. I don't watch Ninja. So if you guys want to defend him, no, go I, for it. I think he keeps good energy for how long he streams, and he's I don't know he's professional. He hasn't been canceled for anything, so brands like him. But I, I think his personality isn't bad. I mean, it's not. They're gamers, you know what I mean? Like. Balenciaga. <laughs> Yeah, I guess he's go. silly. He's silly sometimes. Ninja's number one defender in this room is being off the quiet right now. Yeah, what's All going on? That's Ian, right? Uh huh. Does he have a good personality, Ian? <laughs> no, but that's why it's funny. <laughs> that's the whole point. Yeah, I was Nobody trying to express this earlier. Okay, but like, if it's like an inside joke for you, why the fuck is he hosting a New Year's time, New Year's Eve party with like a Two dozen people that are torn from their loved ones to work on this unholy event. That's Wait. why it's good. <laughs> like, because, like, why does he have 30 people standing there? This I is agree. why he's the best in the game. I have a yeah. question. No <laughs> sense, and that's why it's funny. Well, and I, I, I realize is it. Uh, I don't think it's necessarily intentional, <laughs> but that's why he's funny. This I picture agree. is fucking amazing. This was one of the last times I tried to get myself a fade. <laughs> Guys, Wait, this is real? This isn't fake? Yeah, yeah, I was wearing a hat on the show. <laughs> you did that? Oh my god. You did that to yourself? This, this, was, this is a screenshot from the show when we were still over Zoom. <laughs> oh, I, I see why you gave up like the months. Yeah, oh you my sh god. You should... You know how some people, like felons, can't own guns? Mm. You should not be able to own a, ra a uh, yeah, buzzer. Sorry. 
Yeah. Um, go You're back to that. Felon. Don't change the screen at all. Something I want to point out that, that speaks to what Ian was just saying. Why are there 30 people here? Why is one of the people ninja? That's Look at weird. the guy on the far right. That looks like ninja. That's, That's ninja. It has to be his brother. So right? who's on the couch? Wait, do you think they're actually related? Yeah. I mean, that's Ninja. Ty, that's Tyler on the couch. <laughs> Does he have a brother? Google it. <laughs> yeah. His brother. It's Hi, it's New Year's. It's New Year's. Is that the music, though? Are you guys going to do it with me? Yeah, he does. He has two brothers. Well, well okay. Song. Does everyone yeah, want to do it? He says everybody's going to do it with me. No. No. Yes. Some people are wow, saying no. Hey, Lots of people are saying I am not flossing. <laughs> Like I've, I'm humiliated enough just to be here, brother. I'm not gonna floss on. <laughs> I'm not flossing with you, even no, if it's no, only thirteen thousand people. No, right, it's real simple, guys. It's real simple. Excuse can we get, can we cue that music? Give me some of that jumping music. All right, Bro, so you want to do a little? You want... After everything, you're really gonna come out and do this? <laughs> come on, dude. No. I'm not. I'm not feeling it. Yeah, dude. It makes me feel. There icky. he is doing it alone man. again. It, man. Does anyone else feel man. icky seeing him floss? <laughs> Yep. Yeah, yeah. Gives me like shivers. His brother actually looks more than oh more shit. Than, he that looks is his more brother. than him than him. If that makes sense. Yeah. So that is his brother. Yeah. The guy in the middle is Ninja. I feel like. You know. <laughs> he looks more like Ninja. Than El Ninja. Nino. There it is. Okay. So shout out to the family. Yeah, so Ben Shapiro's a little fucking piece of shit, and all these uh, conservative grifters, too. Take a look at this. We were talking about how... Wait, is it, isn't this the clip that we said we can't show? No, just don't show my clip. We can show him. I want to show what he said. I want to okay. show his joke. Got it. The, the color of your, yeah. of your booty hole. He, he, um... I made a joke. Sure, it was inappropriate, but I, I still do not apologize. I felt it was a well-made point. Mm. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> that he was platforming anti-Semites that were basically had a vested interest in Ben not being alive. Well spent, well spent. You know, uh, down the road, right? <laughs> uh huh. And so, thank you, Ben. And so, I made I made an observation. I said, listen, if they coming for us, being us being the Jews, then you know, then you know, you if you go first, I'm right behind you. He says, you go, you can go first. But I'm right behind you. I said it in more vulgar terms, obviously. But uh, I thought it was well funny. Well said. And I stand by it. <laughs> However, the conservative sphere blew the fuck up. Donald Trump Jr. even did like a story about it. Mm -hmm. Everybody, Ben Shapiro made a video where he got on the high horse. He goes, Well, I, I don't know about you, but I would never wish death on anyone. Okay. Now get a load of what this little scumbag's been up to on his show. So is it in the dock or do I need to? No, I'm grabbing it. Okay. Get right. a load of the content that this little scumbag. I don't hear a shit from YouTube. I don't hear shit from anyone else. I fully got canceled. Like I still don't have ads two fucking years later. Of your booty hole. They did a cancel culture on you. All right, here it is. So the clip that we got a strike for is in this edit. So you just need to be. Very ready to pause it immediately as soon as you pop up in this clip. Yeah, I don't even think showing it is necessarily, but I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm just saying it's, it's yeah. fine. So it's not loading, which is nice. Very good. Very good. Cool. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So here's Benny Boy. Refer. Uh, let's take a look what this little bitch is up to over on fucking his dumbass channel. Uh, well, I mean. I mean, first of all, first person to go if God brings back the flood from the Bible. This guy. Awesome. It is oh. literally oh. the same fucking joke I made. Oh. Oopsie. And like, if you're going to take what I said seriously, you just wish death on him. Yeah. The same way, Ben. Answer for your crimes, man. YouTube, this man just told a gay man. Mm-hmm. Homophobic. Mm -hmm. Potentially racist. Mm-hmm. Not With gonna, ben. I'm not going to dissect that part. Sure. That he's going, God is going to kill him first. Indeed. Now you tell me, people, what is wrong with this? And why isn't Ben Shapiro fully canceled, banned for a week? Unbelievable. It only happens to me. Yep. Yeah, well, they've, uh, they have mastered the petty outrage machine, and they weaponize it, and... <sighs> 
it's use it against people like you. Okay, yeah. you do. It's so fucking lame. They are the cancel culture freaks, man. Always have been. It's the ast- it's the astronaut meme. You know, one more time for the people in back. <laughs> uh, I mean, I mean, first of all, first person to go if God brings back the flood from the Bible. This guy. <laughs> and by the way, Ben Shapiro's religious. He believes the flood. Right. That's, That's what I was going to say. He, he oh, yeah. really believes that shit. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. That's not like a story to Ben. That's right. a real. That's a threat of death. That is literal. Absolutely. Someone said I had two ads before joining the stream. I don't mean integrated. I, I mean like sponsors, not, not uh, from YouTube. Our channel did not get demonetized. We'd be in big trouble if that happened. Yeah, that would be, that would be a difficult. nothing that dramatic. No. Uh, but a little, a little, a little, Indeed. so that's it. Indeed. Imagine if uh, Ben Shapiro had a low taper fade. That would be something interesting to imagine. He'd look horrible. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's doesn't have a good head for it. Well no. spat, well said. He doesn't said. have a good, yeah. I love to see what it. What would work? I'd love to see that. One sec, I'll get on it. So what's <laughs> the status on the uh, death ice? <laughs> Lena? The lemonade? The death the ice? The death ice? <laughs> we canceled the order. Oh, we did cancel yeah. it. Oh, okay. Yeah, they okay. let us cancel it. Yeah. It was gonna take way too long. God, I don't know why Panera wants to fuck with me There's so just, bad. We're in a Panera desert over here, man. What can you do? What can you do? I'm trying to do a euthanasia with lemonade. <laughs> Panera and me are planning some euthanasia. I still think you should just start with one. Well, I like to have the backup in case we want to go there. Right. But I'm never going to, because these motherfuckers won't give right, me food. Right, right, right. You, uh, you ever have a four loco? No, actually. Those are pretty normal. No? They, it was popular even by the time the I was like, yeah, out of college and in Israel, which it didn't oh, exist okay. there. Then by the you time I came back, I think it was illegal. It right? was outlawed most places, yeah. It was, it's illegal, right? Well, they just, uh, uh, it's still around, but they changed the formula. It's not as crazy as it so used to be. So, I'm, I, that window, I was not here. Got it. I was here. Bummer. Was it good? Yeah. It's crazy, right? <laughs> Yeah. I mean, people kind of over exaggerate it. It was very easy to get very fucked up on them, for sure. Well, w- the popular drink in Israel at the time, it still is, is the Red Bull vodka. So, mm-hmm. so I mean, at the end of the day, it's not that dissimilar. It's it's a bunch of caffeine and alcohol. So that's the it drink in Israel Red Bull vodka. I mean, that's popular here, too. That's Four Loco. Let's see. What was uh, 12%. It was 12% back in the day. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's like a wine. Yeah. So it's like. Drinking wine with a lot of energy drink along with it. So why did so were people getting like sick and like Which dying and shit? Well, it was very. Uh, it was sweet and it didn't taste like alcohol. Let's okay. put it that way. It was one of those that you could just drink like juice, basically, and uh, people did quite a bit. Hundred and twenty pound female with a very low alcohol tolerance would have an estimated blood alcohol content of point two after consuming <laughs> just one. <laughs> Yeah, they so were it's ban- more than a glass. It's probably like two glasses yeah. of wine. Of I'm drunk. They were banned at a few colleges. I'm saying that's where it started to. I can definitely see people dying on cat on. Yeah, it's dumbasses, <sighs> idiots. Somebody said, uh, Ethan, maybe not getting the heart attack tea may be a sign. I'm saying that it not working out is the universe trying to protect you. I will get that tea. You're gonna defy, flood, high you're gonna waters. My God! If blood, if Ben Shapiro wants me to die first in the flood, that's not gonna stop me. <laughs> well said. Well said. Like, can I wish death on Ben if it's like kind of like, oh, this is a fun like? Is he being serious? Oh, I hope he dies first in the flood. That's like a god. That's like a death wish. Well, how can I wish? Oh, I hope the See, I can't even do it. I can't even make the joke. I'm stopping myself because I know it's trouble. Yeah, literally you're such a good person. And we see (laughs) that right now. This is a really good one, Cam. Character development. This honestly looks like so legit. Here's Ben Shapiro with a low taper fit. That's a high taper fit. Gross. Dude. Oh shit, sorry. He is. I like it though. The high taper is more extreme. Should I get a high tapered fade? I would do low. Because I want it to look silly for the show. 
You could get or like maybe a it looks fire, fire. like a super high one, <laughs> all the way up here at the point where it just have like a little island <laughs> yeah. of hair, <laughs> just right here at the front of your forehead. Why is nobody ever talking about the mid taper? Oh, so is high taper this, low taper that? Yeah, true. Dan. <laughs> I still want you to get the fro oh, yeah. bag. Bring back the fro, dude. Wait, this is a this was a definitely a fade. Oh, for oh, sure. Yeah, 100%. yeah, yeah. There you go. You even got the there line go. and everything. Well, I remember people liked it. The fed. <laughs> Some bullshit. <laughs> Sisters. Girl, you are Ugh. killing it, girl. <laughs> Let's get glam. Yes, she is. Look at her. She is Slay Nation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, that was another lifetime ago by now. The whole friend yeah. these are. That was like three, mm. three, four years ago. Crazy. Mm. Four years. I'm still standing. Ooh. That's me every morning. Wow. You're a big Elton John fan, aren't you? Yeah, I like Elton. You happy about his EGOT? His EGOT? EGOT. He has achieved that status now. You got, a, you got now. the EGOT. What's a EGOT? Emmy. Grammy, Oscar, yeah. Tony. Oh, he did? Well, of course he did. He's He is, when you say GOAT, people throw that around a lot. I mean, Elton is the GOAT. He's the EGOAT. He's, he's the he's, EGOAT. I mean, there's not many that do it like him, mm -hmm. for sure. Did he just recently get it or something? Yeah. Oh, he did. What was the la what what trophy did he? What need just for, happened? Uh, the Emmys. It was. Oh, Emmys. it was the Emmys. Yeah. Okay. That man is still out there touring, like, and looking great. Seventy six. No, he stopped touring. <clears throat> As he then he just do it. He show always in LA? says he says that every year. As he claims. No. Yeah. He, the, never believe a musician when they say they're retiring. It's never. That's what fucking Oliver Tree says every goddamn time. <laughs> yep. Six hundred fifty million. He's worth. Not surprised. That man crushes such a talent. Love him. Da -da 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 -da. Crocodile rock. Did you like the movie? Uh, I don't. I I hate bio, myopics or whatever. I, I biopics. I can't stand these dumb fucking biopics. Mm. I'm out. I'm done. It wasn't terrible. I mean, I think it added <laughs> a different type of flavor to it. I didn't even know that happened. Rocket Man in 2019. I enjoyed like it. I'm I'm done with this shit. Like the Elvis one. Like it's just it's so masturbatory and it's always like one actor who's taking on the role of their lifetime. It's like, no, it's not. It's not. It's you know, I hate it. Hmm. It's the worst genre of films. I don't know why it bothers me so much. You ever see the doors? Was that a bi biopic? Yeah, with Val Kilmer. Uh, I think maybe a long time ago. Yeah, long time ago. Zach does a really good impersonation of uh, Tom Hanks' character in that Elvis movie. Dude, what the uh, fuck? Elder Colonel? Yeah. The He's snowman. So <laughs> look at Val. He look he looks more like Jim Morrison than fucking Jim Morrison. Val. Well, not not now. How old is Val? He's sick. Um. He's sick. Yeah. yeah. He's sick. Oh. There's this really sad documentary. I think Zach actually told me about it. What's yeah. he sick with? I forgot what exactly, but his voice is completely gone. Oh, no. He was great. Young Val Kilmer oh, crushed it. Fucking stud. Oh, dude. he had throat cancer in 2015. So he's he's cancer free, but he's throat gut. Yeah. I'm glad he's cancer free. He was recently in a movie. Well, I guess recently. My life is... Wait, hold on. That's fucking... That's Jeff Bridges. That ain't Val Kilmer. <laughs> what? That's crazy. Okay. All right. We love him, don't we? We love Val Kilmer here on the H3 podcast. Oh, yeah. We do. Uh, let's see. Oliver Tree, speaking of this scumbag, he's out on the road, as you guys know. He always calls in and can't shut the fuck up about it. But he, to make matters even worse, here he is in Germany, Berlin of all places. <laughs> out there in Germany trying to smear my name. Did ah! ah! somebody say something? Ah! 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 I can't even understand with those thick German accents. I don't know what you're saying. Fuck you. Did you guys just say, fuck Ethan Klein? Oh, 
fucking sucks, man. I fucking hate that guy. He's my arch nemesis. I can't even believe that that guy's shitty little podcast made it out to dumb fuck middle of nowhere, Berlin. <laughs> oh, fuck you guys. Fuck you. He left the stage in disgrace. What a fucking loser. I think what happened I think what happened is he was saying fuck Ethan Klein and the audience was like, no, 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 no. Fuck you. Yep. Yep. We yep. love Ethan Klein, the audience. Wait, he was really in Germany? That's apparent according to He who was on stage in Germany having trying to get a bunch of people to say fuck a Jewish guy? Yeah. Wow. That's what happened. Wow. It's at a time with rising anti-Semitism, you yeah. really want to put that out there, Oliver? Okay. Under red lights, too? Under red lights. <laughs> Jesus. What's the red light thing? Just because it looks doomy? Or is it... Prost- Reiki? It looks Reiki. Reiki, okay. Yeah, it looks a little Reiki. This man has no, no Reich. He's got no Riz, no Reich. <laughs> you have no Reich. <laughs> what a scumbag. He wants he he wants us to come. I'm assuming everybody wants to go to the show, right? Yeah. I mean, we've told him yeah how many times. I told him eleven. I told him eleven. That's everybody, right? Yeah. He said that would be like fifteen hundred bucks. Oh, yeah. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not paying for it. <laughs> That's for sure. I'm not paying for that shit. I wouldn't even pay like. I wouldn't even pay what like thirty bucks. I don't know. Probably charge a lot more than that. Scam artist. <laughs> I'll check Groupon. Yeah. Anyway, that's Oliver Tree. You guys had a lot to say about the Coachella lineup. I'm not really in tune with the music world, so it didn't really it doesn't say anything to me because I usually don't know who most of these people are. However, lots of disgruntled uh, people here. We are not loving. The Coachella lineup. Thoughts? I want to go. You're in? Oh, yeah. It's pretty fucking weak. So I am i don't know Lana Del Rey. I mean, I know the name. She's, she's, she's a big deal. She's, I think. Mm-hmm. she's a big she's deal. She's a big mm-hmm. deal, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the headliners are all big. Doja Cat seems... <laughs> Weird. <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 they oftentimes will have, like, two really big people and then one medium-sized headliner that's, like, seen as... On the come up, I don't think she's really seen on the come up anymore, though. Doja, I mean, Doja's on the like come down, her, and she was like <laughs> shitting on her fans. And yeah, all that I'm, last I'm year. out on Doja. Yeah, yeah, I'm um, out. no doubt. I'm so fucking excited. I grew up listening to No Doubt. Listen, me too, but um, she ain't on. a girl no more. <laughs> um, Stop, just no. the girl. Stop. <laughs> no, I no doubt that that's not gonna, gonna be not very be, good. Mm, no doubt. <laughs> I think it'll be great. Actually, yeah, I like No Doubt. I can't believe she's 56. I had no idea until this morning when we were talking about it. This might sound rude, but I thought she was older. Really? (laughs) I haven't seen pictures of her recently. She's been around forever, dude. I saw people online going wild over uh, Hatsune Miku's playing. Yo, international pop sensation Hatsune Miku? They're just going to play a video? Yep. Hey guys, here's a video. Uh, it's so much more than a video, Ethan. It's a hologram. Little Uzi Vert's big. That's gonna be sick. Your buddy. That'd be mm-hmm. cool. My is he my yeah, we're dogs. <laughs> Tyler the Creator, I feel like he headlines every festival now. Like, no offense. He's very talented and I'm a big fan of his music. But I feel like whenever they can't find someone else to headline, they just put they just throw Tyler the Creator up there. <laughs> And he's deserving of the headline, but I mean, at a certain point, you know, you want to see other people. Uh, Somebody, was this you, Dan? Sublime is top billing. That cannot be a good sign. Sublime, essentially cover band. On the top row. I found out that the singer is his son. Is his son. Yeah. Okay. Still not him, though. Well, it used to be Sublime with Rome. Whatever the fuck that was. (laughs) Yeah, with Rome, dude. You know, Rome? Yeah, Doja Cat? I don't know about all that. Doja's gonna fuck it up. I feel like she's gonna go out there and just, like, ruin everything. (laughs) (laughs) On purpose. I like that the Sublime cover band is 
build higher than Grimes, though. It kind of makes me feel good. You hate Grimes. <laughs> she, well, she, she procreated with the devil. Mm-hmm. Right. You know? <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw Grimes at Coachella in 2016. You saw. How was she? I'll bet you she was better then than she will be this year. Her concerts are, right. look pretty cool. She has they like are very really cool. cool visuals. Mm-hmm. And she does the beats on stage. Yeah, no, I, I always liked yeah. her. I'm reading the top billing. I, I, I honestly don't know 90, almost none of them. I don't know any of these people. But uh, that's just me. That's just me and my life. You know? So, okay. I guess you won't be going to Coachella this year. I mean, Ian, what are your thoughts? You, you're the music guy. You had stuff to say about this. Uh, I think it's pretty boring. Uh, as you said, Tyler has his own festival in L.A. He does every single year where he's the headliner. So right. You could see him every November here in L.A. So, right. <clears throat> Doja Cat, you know, I'm not really into her. If I wanted to skip her set, I don't. looking at that lineup, I don't know where I'm going. Like mm. usually they have something cool on a different stage. Lil Yachty, maybe. I I mean I don't know. There's there's just not a lot. I don't think it's very interesting. But no yeah. doubt, Blur is cool. Uh, listen, I I'm a big Blur head, but they're a little they're a little past the prime too. I'd rather see gorillas. Saying. I'd rather yeah, see gorillas. They, yeah, let's they put had it that way. Last year and it was a good show. So. Yeah, I'll tell you what. The only thing blurry about this is the value. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've never uh, been to Coachella and I don't I don't think I'll ever go. Maybe, maybe if the boys were one day like, Dad, come to us, come with us, then maybe I'd go. There was also a big rumor that Taylor Swift was gonna play it. So a bunch of like Swifties were buying up tickets a few months ago. So oh. I feel like it's gonna flood the resale market with oh, like, shit. anymore. So. Oops. Now that would have been a headline. She is it. She is everything. She is the moment. That is Tay Tay with a capital T. Two of them. All right. There it is, Coachella. <clears throat> Matt Pat, we found out who's retiring from YouTube, and it's a good thing he is because this discovery would have derailed his career, I'm sure. After spending but. an unholy amount of time trying to type one single sentence, I needed to uh, take a break at the facilities. And uh, I'm not really sure who this one was more awkward for, me or the <laughs> film crew made up of our employees waiting on the other side of the door. I'll say that it poked in places that I didn't expect it to poke, and I was very concerned <laughs> about the hefty size of the nails scooping up some toilet water that as I was going in for the old wipe. mother is a front wiper. Scooping up toilet water? If you're back wiping, you're not sitting. Period. It's not a full confirmation, Wait, but I, I, yeah. What's, who's scooping? Wait, you think most people who are back wipers, they sit? Mm-hmm. I don't get the logistics of that. <laughs> Did you just lift your cheek slightly? This is a major th- disgusting. I, I feel like, oh it, my I feel like the issue is going too low, He's, no matter what. That's a ball. Side that's you're coming. under the balls. Mm. That's I a, don't think, yeah, I don't think this listen, confirms I, anything. Well, hold I on. Kinda, wa- I picked up on the implication there too a little bit, but I wouldn't say that's a hundred percent confirmed. Let me watch. Expected to poke, and I was very concerned about the hefty size of the nails scooping up some toilet water as I was going in for the old wipe. Scooping up toilet water. He just described it. So, but if you're you doing a scooping action from the back, because you definitely scoop when you're yeah going yeah to the balls. no you scoop either way yeah. I don't think this the scoops confirms. happening. And, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Back wiping just does not. I don't, and I don't know if we'll ever know. Zach, my boy. It, he, just, he con- that, it doesn't make sense. He it, converted. You were the one that converted, Zach? Is that right? It doesn't, it doesn't yeah. make fucking any sense. And, I mean, Zach, you, and Zach's wait, done both. Exactly. How can you say it doesn't make any sense? You did it for like over 20 years. Look, you know, I'm going through a big existential crisis right now. <laughs> Keep saying that, yeah. <laughs> so just let me be me right now. Dude, and embrace that front wiping is the greatest thing to happen to human. I'm glad that you're happy. Yeah, I don't. It's fine that you're happy. It's good even that you're happy. But you're saying it doesn't make sense. Does not make any any. It doesn't make sense to me either. Gee. There's no way you can properly clean your butthole from the back. No, I don't believe. And Zach, see, I've never, I've never been a back wiper, so I can't. I don't have the unique experience that you have of being to compare. But I don't get it. Yeah, this, it doesn't make sense. Under the balls, people. That's the way to travel. Mm-hmm. Amen, brother. 
And you do not get just so anyone's like, oh, you get shit on your balls. No, you do not get fucking Duh, shit on your balls. Of course not. Or you have to cup your balls. There yeah, you, you go. Cup. That's annoying. I can hold my I phone have to while cup. wiping. I usually have to cup. True. Right. I can hold my phone. It's a while one wiping. hand procedure. Okay. Yeah. Well, I want a clean butthole. I get a clean. Wait, butthole. that's a good point. When you're doing it from the front, hold on. You're on your phone. You're getting as two you're hands down in there in the nether regions. Mm -hmm. yeah. Two hands. <laughs> that is you, crazy. Sitting bro, like you, this. your asshole is <laughs> dirty. Oh, no. oh, yeah. If happening? you're cleaning with one hand, I am sorry, but you have a dirty asshole. What do you Shame mean? on you. It's just because I don't have to cup my ball sack. Look, all I'm saying is I think <laughs> Ethan and yeah. I have the cleanest asses mm -hmm. in this room. Right no now. question. You know? No uh, question. You don't know. No question about it. AB has something to say about that, huh? I doubt that. <laughs> but I was gonna say, grabbing your balls in general, like it's just you're just adding nastiness to another part. Like I don't want those. Mm -hmm. My balls crossing. are probably mm -hmm. one of the cleanest things on my body. I shower, I put on underwear, nothing. That's well, yeah, it. man, uh, you can There's clean no off after the fact. But I shower twice about the efficacy a day. Of the method. That's a little neurotic, Zach. I just found out I'm halfism, so I mean that makes sense. Yeah. Too. Well, I don't <laughs> even grow that much <laughs> hair yet, Doc. So take that. In. You shower twice a day, Zach. Yeah. Does that not make your, like, dry you out and stuff? Yeah. No. You use soap and shampoo every time or no? Uh, shampoo, like, <coughs> for the first shower. Usually the nighttime shower. It doesn't dry you? No. I feel like I would get, I would get so... No, I got, I got skin good. would get crazy if I showered twice use a day. Use good soaps, use, uh, you know, good conditioner, things of that nature. Oh. Moisturize. Are you implying that I use shit products? Not at all. <laughs> I'm just fucking using that shit. I'm kidding. Good for you. Keep it clean. I actually like your shampoo, Ethan. When I stayed in the pool house. Oh, I, had that. <laughs> I don't know what's out there. There was like this like uh, slightly thicker uh, <laughs> Dove shampoo or oh. a body wash. Oh, okay. I was like, what the fuck is this? I had to, before I left the pool house, <laughs> I took a picture of it. So. Are you using it still? Yep. And uh -huh. you do you use the same thing for hair and body? No, I have a other Dove. So the Dove, sh head. it's Dove shampoo because you didn't you say it's body wash? The one I like is body wash. It's very thick and super easy to just lather. Is that the Dove for men or is it the white one? It's a white one. <clears throat> it's probably technically for women, but I like to smell. <laughs> well, Matt Pat, I guess the verdict is still out. If you are want to give us an answer, I'd be willing to. Uh, talk to you about it or just to read if you just want to say yes up front or back that'd be good but he definitely has a clean ass if he's scooping yeah then he's if he's got a clean ass and he's scooping he's going under the balls you could eat a fork actually never mind i'm not gonna say that you could go ahead zach i was gonna say you could <clears throat> you could eat off you it. could eat a four course meal off his ass <laughs> yeah and i'm sure i'm sure many would like to <sighs> Didn't realize we're, we're gonna do the chef, the chef pre, uh, prefix menu on uh, Matt Pat's asshole. There you go. That's right. Front wipers have dirty gooches. Shelb said that's a myth. Only back wipers <laughs> say that kind of dumb shit. You're just not enlightened. I'm just saying, bro. I don't keep wipe shit as far away from. It region. doesn't get anywhere close to my balls. What do you think happens? There's like a pretty good distance <laughs> in terms of wiping. Like wiping is a pretty precise art for the most part. Mm -hmm. There's no... But just like, I don't know, getting your... You shouldn't get your balls involved, I feel like. I feel like it's unnecessary. It is necessary if you go from the front, which is God's way. Amen. It's not. God invented a butthole and a scooper and balls to lift. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you have two hands. <laughs> um, all right. Yeah, my son is a uh, back wiper. I never even mm. taught. Yeah, I mean, he just. I think it's just a natural, natural thing. Instinct. It is yeah. natural. Yeah, I, like yeah, I've yeah, never yeah. thought about it. Mm. He just. He's just. He's a back wiper. You know, it's like right-handed, left-handed thing. <laughs> right. Yeah. Wonder if it's similar proportions. It'd be interesting. And he's seen me poop tons of times. Okay. So he knows. Because I, I, whenever I sh poop, I close the door, but they always open it and fuck with me. Okay. <laughs> Every time. That'd give me anxiety. Well, there's your kids. You got locks? Yeah. No, I, the locks don't work. <laughs> <laughs> like, so, it just doesn't work. You gotta work. get that fixed. <laughs> you click it, and it goes down like it's locked, but it just does nothing. Oh, no. That's cursed. Mm. 
<laughs> I feel like every bathroom and di- most bathrooms, for whatever reason, I feel like the lock doesn't work at at home. Shh. Your own? Hmm. No, that's the first Just thing me? I'm fixing whenever I move somewhere. If it's <laughs> yeah. not working. Um, but yeah, so he's he's he knows that I, that I'm a front wiper, but uh, he he's chosen his own path in life. You know, <laughs> that's good. It's good that you're letting him. All you can forge do his own path is some life. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Myron from Fresh and Fit is cringy little fucking weirdo, which we all knew. <clears throat> but here he is. <clears throat> this was on New Year's Eve. This dude thought he was posting a dub. He, he willingly put this on the internet. He says, 6'3", 200 pounds, 33 years old. And it's midnight on New York Eve weekend in Miami. <laughs> While everyone parties, I work. This is why I can tell hoes, losers, and fat fucks to shut the F up. Get your ass in a gym, make more money, and start becoming superior to these normies. Competence leads to accomplishments, which then gives you confidence. Are you ever going to talk about being a lonely loser? Aww. Like, there's nobody in the world that would look at this and think this is a dub. You are by yourself on a holiday that's meant to be enjoyed with others. Like, this, this is... This is this is beyond sad. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's pretty bad. It's even sadder that he wrote all of that, <laughs> took that photo, and still didn't realize that it could have been perceived as as He posted ish. that shit. Yeah. I guess he was probably just like I he was probably feeling depressed that nobody wanted to be with him on mm-hmm. New York Eve. Mm-hmm. And that is depressing. Especially as he said, 33 year old man, successful. Yet nobody wants to fucking spend that holiday yeah. with him. Like, it's that is depressing. No, yeah. He's coping. And he's coping. he's coping. Yeah, for sure. But he didn't realize that what an obvious cope it is. Female yeah. vaginas are disgusting. It's like poetry <laughs> on the timeline. Wait, why are you... And didn't he, didn't he post this around midnight? Or 9.30 p.m.? Like, that's not even... Like, why are you in the gym at 9.30? Yeah, but oh that's West Coast that's, time. It would, have been, it would have been 30 minutes after midnight. Okay, because right. oh. I remember it being, like, right around yeah. midnight. Yeah, yeah, So you're telling me that as fireworks are going off and everybody's celebrating, getting their, getting that a kiss and all this kinds of stuff, you're in the gym by yourself. Mad as hell. Coping. <laughs> Just yeah. super yeah. fucking You're doing mad. great, brother. Mad so now that I'm up, you're down. <laughs> You're doing great, bro. Fuck that shit. The happiness is oozing off the photo. <laughs> the success, I see it. Dude, can you imagine a security guard like seeing this? Like a dude alone in the gym takes his shirt off, takes a picture. You good? Security be... guard, there's no... Like uh, looking at the tapes? Why yeah, is this like gym even open? There's someone working in the building at the time. <laughs> it looks like a hotel gym or something. Like, probably, why is it... It's probably an apartment, apartment building. Yeah. Oh, apartment building yeah. gym. Play a fucking Halo! Nobody's there, Myron, and it's not because they don't work hard. It's because they're not pathetic, lonely losers, incels. Do we think subliminally he was posting it because he wanted people in the comments to wish him a happy new year? Could be. Nobody. Yeah. I don't think that's what happened, though, if I yeah. had to guess. I mean, here, let's look. Notice how all the haters are not men. Oh, wow. Oh, that's him. That's him responding to himself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Notice how all the haters are not men you aspire to be like or whores. Hate always comes from below. Interesting. I mean, well, how do you define... How do you define, what do you mean men you'd want to be? Like, I feel like you could just say that about anyone, you know? You want, you know, I mean, uh, listen. I am to tell you, man, sad. You are choosing to ignore your religion's teachings. You claim that part of masculinity is being religious and traditional. You have to practice what you preach so we can take your word seriously. Masculinity is not just going to the gym. Myron, just follow your... Myron, just follow your father and mother religious beliefs and don't ignore the teaching of Islam by sleeping with women and following your desire. You know that is haram. You're contributing to the problems. You are an example of the youth. You are an example for the youth. Don't make it worse. So he's getting it from all over the place. The religious, uh, (laughs) the concern, I assume that, you know, if you're a a religious uh, Muslim, you're probably more conservative. Mm -hmm. The libs definitely aren't going to like this. I don't think anybody is admiring you. Not one person, actually. The only positive comment is you left it on your own post. What a loser. You bitch! What a fucking loser this dude is. <sighs> Can you suck your own dick yet? <laughs> Just 
interesting question. <gasps> Why are you posting a picture? Are you a woman? Ooh. That's a good point. Oh, no. Hey. Dude, this website sucks ass, man. One of your pecs it is really severely does. bigger than the other. Is that <laughs> all the dumbest people? Oh, that's weird. Uh, could just be an angle. Maybe. One of the comments says his face looks like Squidward's house. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I see it. Quite a bit, actually. I, for you, gay. Are you allowed to be shirtless in the gym? I, I think it's not sanitary. It's not kosher, right? Yeah. Like, you do progress pics in, like, the bathroom. Yeah, but maybe that's why he's here. Hey, this is the one night a year. No one's going to be there. So he could be a little whore. <laughs> a little whore? <laughs> <laughs> a little slut, you. <laughs> Showing so much skin, huh? Thirst trapping. I see you. So there it is, fresh and fit. Who would have guessed that he's a lonely, sad loser? Nobody. Not a single soul. George Santos. Oh, my God. This guy's story is bananas. Now that he's been uh, removed from uh, Congress, he's basically just mask off, uh, embracing what a fucking creepy weirdo he is. And people love it. I love it, actually. He's a sassy bitch. <laughs> I would talk to him. Can we get him on the show? I can try, yeah. Let's get him on we, the show. I think we ha we have reached out and we haven't heard back, but I will reach now out he's, again. Yeah, he's, yeah. His, his schedule is a lot more open, It's I maybe guess. cleared a bit. Yeah, Just yeah. hit him up on Cameo. Exactly. Well, Did we ever reach that out we're about to, to watch. Myron, that whole thing? We'll talk. Okay, good. Good. Go ahead, Georgie. Giorgio Armani. What could we do to get you to go away? Stop inviting me to your gigs. Mm. So no Dancing with the Stars? No. No RuPaul's Drag Race? I haven't got that invite yet. I'd love to go read a <laughs> The lesson is to stop inviting you places. But you can't. Because people want the content. Dude, what he is get... such a nihilistic. Like, <laughs> he has... This man doesn't care about anything. He's psycho. He's crazy. It's kind of awesome, though. I much prefer, like, brutal, radical, honest <laughs> George than Well, like, I wouldn't Richter. call him honest. I guess he's being honest right there, but... Well, the jig is up. I don't think this man... <laughs> Nobody... Yeah. I don't know. I like, don't nobody's know. giving him money for a dog charity or anything like that anytime <laughs> soon. People only focus the fraud aspect of this guy, but forget his contributions in exposing the moral rot in society. Um, he, there's plenty of people still doing that. He's, he's far from unique in that. You can do aspect. one without the other. Yeah. So there he is. We'll stop talking about him. I'll do my duty. Unless he, want, of course, wants to call into the show. Which there is a standing invite. <laughs> <laughs> so it sounds like, sounds like you're saying... Yes, you're right, George, and also... Of course he's right. Of course he's right. You want the content. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the, the good thing is that he's in his fully... Case, in his case, I kind of agree. I don't know what to say. The guy is... He's a born entertainer. He should have gone into politics or, or scamming. He should have gone into entertainment. That's where he's going now. You know? But he's harmless in the sense that nobody's... He's not doing any scams anymore because nobody trusts him. Here's... <laughs> Here's uh, Squidward's house. Wow. <laughs> Weirdly works. <laughs> New York, or New Year's Eve, 2023. The location, Squidward's house. Inside, one lonely man. Thank you. Speaking of SpongeBob, a new photo just dropped. Yeah, I saw this. A little weird. Here is SpongeBob, the actor... Wait, that, is that not edited? Why Spongebob does his eye look actor. like that? <laughs> but why is, what is wrong with his face? What's We're winking. This is like AI or something. This is, can't winking. be real. Is this real? Mm -hmm. Wait, it has to, it is AI. Yeah. This, the, look at the... Or no, it's I blinking. I think that's real. Yeah, it's a blink. <laughs> but then why is the... That's a corset. But where's his other eye? He's blinking. Like he's blinking. A, he's winking. blinking just like the, like his corset. Where's his oh, other eye? Corset. He's winking he's just like him. He's winking. He's oh, doing the same he's thing. winking. It's a weird wink, brother. <laughs> it's like he has a black eye. All right. <laughs> there it is. 
a crane <laughs> fucking Jesus. smashed him right in his head. Uh, crane like couldn't process that image. That was weird. <sighs> David was Dubrick, really weird. uh, tea being spilled by Jason and friends. I think, um, I think there might be a rift starting to form because Jason, as we've pointed out, his his new full time job is begging for donations on TikTok, which is quite sad for a man uh, of his age and and he has kids. Prestige, and stuff. yeah, prestige. <laughs> Listen to this. It, it they, they, like the thing is, like David's in this like moment in his life, yeah, where he can do anything, where he yeah. just parties like every day. <laughs> Like genuinely, if there was a party every day, Jay, he would be at it. Not kidding. Yeah. And he remember did. he doesn't drink. I've never, dude. I'm telling you, people who go, I just don't drink. I never drink for no reason. Trump's one of those people. That's. I'm telling you, these people are oh, they're not good people. <laughs> just be aware of them. <laughs> Keep an eye on them. Sober people who people. say that. Chris D'Elia was <laughs> another person who's like, I just don't drink for no reason. It's like mm -hmm. okay. It is interesting that he goes out all the time and he doesn't drink at yeah. all. Yeah, and he films drunk people. That's his life. That's like the least fun thing to do ever is to be surrounded by drunk people and be sober. Absolutely. So true, so true. So true. Do we, like, does he... Drinking, having a... Does he uh, say no to all drugs? Is he a dare kid? Or is from, he just drinking? From what I understand, he's a dare kid, but I could be wrong, because how the fuck are you going to parties every night and not doing drugs? He's, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm looking into it now. A good time, yeah, whatever. Yeah. I just can't do that, man. You know? No, I like, can't either. I just can't do that. And like, I'm not... <laughs> not like you have the option, buddy. <laughs> He's like, no, I wouldn't want to do that. I wouldn't want to make millions of dollars a month and go party all the time. That's just not for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you wouldn't do that. I prefer to just, you know, beg for money on TikTok. <laughs> <clears throat> he has something to celebrate because he's made it. Yeah. You know? Like, yeah, we've yeah. talked about this before. Yeah, yeah, I can't yeah, put yeah. myself in that mindset. Like, yeah, he calls me to play pool. And I'm like, uh, I gotta go live. And, <laughs> and, I don't, and I don't expect him to understand that. Like, I've, yeah. I know I've told him. There's also things that I, like, say to him, and I'm not sure if he hears me. He doesn't. <laughs> like, I'll say things like, I'm losing my house. <laughs> and, and he'll be like... Oh, but just come play pool. <laughs> it's not that funny. Sounds like a horrible That's person. Sad. <laughs> That's so sad. I like that they're all just like, "That's David." No, he's a horrible friend. Like Jason, he should have set you up nice. After everything you guys have been through, I don't know what or how, but you should be rich. You should be rich too. The fact that yeah. you're like, I got to do hours on TikTok to pay my bills. That's nuts. <laughs> There was a great TikTok that he sent, which was like some guy, I don't know if you saw it, he sent it to me, it's just like a TikTok, and it's just a guy on the phone, and it's, like, it's basically David, he's like, yeah, it's just the guy that has like a lot of money and, can't, and can do anything all day, he's like, oh, Dipple's having a party tonight? And like, yeah. it's literally yeah. like things that David has said. I mean, it's crazy, because like, like four. Diplo's yeah. a freak too, from what I understand. Partying with Diplo? I wouldn't want to do that. I wouldn't, by the way. Here's SpongeBob's Neighborhood. This is a cool <laughs> alternative... Uh, setting and there's the coconut on the left coconut <laughs> <laughs> this is cool man i like this remake this is a great vibe yeah <laughs> that's a good one okay i like that i like that hey, go go on jason uh, i mean he but if you think it. about it though from 18 to like what 23 24 Oh, he was hitting. It he hard. he never he never drank. I don't think he oh, ever drank. Yeah, he never did never anything. Oh, no. so it sounds like he did start drinking. I just remembered he would like, even when we would um, visit him, we'd be up to like midnight, just like watching the edits, just like, hey, is this is this part better or this one's better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he would have everyone just crowd around his bed. I just remember that. I was like, was I thought so that fun. was insane. Yeah. And and that and now it's like the complete opposite. Everyone's like working, and here's him just like. Hey, what are you doing tonight? And it's like a Tuesday night. Everyone's working. <laughs> you want to watch a movie? Yeah. It's just a crazy switch, honestly. Mm. But I just, I mean, I just can't. I just, I mean, the guy, the guy Jason worked on is so bitter. Hard. As he should be. You know, for four he years, did, he did. you were there. Yep. I mean, you live like eight lives, honestly, Jason. I know. And that, that YouTuber time is so, um, 
you do so much in such a little amount of time. Like, I don't know, you're like doing so much. Yeah. Me- meaning like in one day, you know, you're at a ranch shooting. You're at a uh, freaking Madison Beer's apartment shooting. You know what I mean? You're just like, you just do so much in just a little amount of time. Yeah. And were you paid for all that? No. Were you compensated in any way? Uh uh-uh. uh. For a full day of fucking work, fully dedicated to David Dobrik, who's now basically retired off the money? No. What is wrong with these people? <laughs> God damn. Ugh. I missed the I missed the podcast. I wish he I missed the money of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I see Jason say this on a TikTok. Ah, uh, he was doing the views thing. I don't think that podcast was long for this world, regardless of no, who well, knows? It kind of fell apart when the essay his stuff. whole life fell apart. So, yeah, oops, <laughs> it was awesome. Not that it happened, but just did that. No, that clip like every other week. <laughs> what do I do? He turned down ten million dollar deal. I see you say that on like TikTok clips <laughs> oh, all the time. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. With you, well, that's that. like that's like that's like a joke for my act that I say, which is. You know, he turned down all this money and all he had to do was talk to me once a week for 40 minutes, you know, like, um, <laughs> and, and I'll tell you why it stings is because that's, that's literally every comment on TikTok live. Okay. But Aww. like, you're ignoring the fact that his whole life was like upended for after these essay allegations. It wasn't like he just stepped away cause he's like Jerry Seinfeld or something like stepping away in his prime. No, there was nobody sponsoring that show anytime soon. It's looking like they did five episodes before everything came out. Let's see. Yeah, I remember. I mean, yeah, there was decent views on them. But pod, these kinds of podcasts always come out. They get really strong. I mean, this is two years on, too. So it's, I'm sure right. it's gone up. But I remember this Diplo one didn't have a lot of views. Because nobody cares about Diplo. Fucking loser. He's a weirdo. I don't remember why, but I just, I remember. (laughs) You just, bad vibes. Yeah. Definitely. When's the podcast coming back? So that's why it stings, because it's like, if no one cared, I'd be like, oh, whatever. No, that was the best podcast ever. It was fun. Um, And you were great on it, and you would come on. Thanks. (laughs) <laughs> he would always this, this is so sad. Yeah. yeah, it's like this is rough. This is just the hey, remember the good days? Yeah. They're reminiscing. This is the podcast where we just sadly reminisce about when life didn't <laughs> suck <laughs> for us. When David let us suck from his tit, he would always drag you in there, and you'd be like, "I gotta work," <laughs> and then he'd yeah. fire you up. It is crazy how like. No matter how many people love it around him, if he doesn't love it, he just won't do it. You, yeah. b- by the way, shout out to my boy here, keeping it time uh, time appropriate. Juicy thigh shot, boy. Mm. Fat, juicy, motherfucking thigh shot. Absolutely. Put two hamburger buns on <clears throat> either side of that and take a bite. Mm-hmm. That's a beefy patty. Yummy. Lunchtime. <laughs> How many right. people love it around him? I just, I love that the bros are just showing leg. Like, this is the new alpha thing. Like, just showing as much thigh as you can without your balls coming out. It's awesome. It's so, it's so straight. It's so masculine. If he doesn't love it, he, he just won't do it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the, which is totally fair. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Too. Which is like, if you're not into it, that's why I don't. I don't bring it up or whatever. It is a crazy concept because you give that concept to anybody else and they're like, what? <laughs> what concept? You Two people talking? What are you talking about? For $10 oh, million. million dollars? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. All you have to do is literally go from your bedroom to your downstairs <laughs> pantry and talk for 40 minutes for $10 million. Why? They, dude, he was like brutally canceled. That's why he... What the fuck are we doing here? They're making it sound like... And everyone... Like, Ten million dollar offer on the table somehow. Mm-hmm. I doubt that. It's possible he had like that much sponsorships lined up over like the course of a year, maybe. That's, I mean, that's a lot. That's a fucking lot. That is a lot, 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 lot. <laughs> so, I mean, they kind of casually threw that figure out there and said, "Eyebrow raising." <laughs> Jason, 
he was going to get a piece of that 10 million and now he's just begging for money <laughs> god that's what all the headlines Eesh. were saying that jeff was suing for 10 million it's funny that's the same amount jeff's coming for that podcast money jeff's coming one loves you yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah. that's not the case. Not everyone loves you. Yeah, there's, there's but, a lot of there's a lot of but people I'm saying that like, are pissed too. True, but I'm just saying generally the people that listen. Yeah, generally the people that listen. Yeah, yeah, love yeah, you, yeah. You know. Yeah, 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 yeah. In that's general, really me too. I could say it about mine. In general, the people like me. There are dedicated hate groups though, and we love them too because they're loyal fans. <laughs> frankly, Diplo accused of disturbing revenge p word. Dude, I'm beating. telling you, this guy is all bad. All bad vibes. What is this? Diplo accused of distributing revenge P-word. The woman who has been entangled in a legal battle with the artist since 2020 claimed Diplo distributed new photos of her without her consent. Okay. I thought there was more stuff than this. I mean, a lot, yeah, a lot of people in chat are saying that he has a bunch of allegations. That's what I thought, yeah. yeah. It's Diplo, bro. Fucking Diplo. The only the yep. only one of these DJs that I fuck with is my boy. Shout out to the family. That guy is, seems like David such Guetta. a genuine David Gouda cheese. That man that keeps it real every day of his life. <clears throat> Shout out to his <laughs> We love it. Okay, so that's the Dobrik tea. Interesting. Always nice to check in. Although these days it's just checking on how pathetic and sad Jason's <laughs> life has become. Jesus. Um, I have good news. What I is googled it? David Guetta uh, allegations. Zip. And the top result about allegations that he faked his live shows. Zip. So if that is the worst thing he's been accused of. He's a good man, I could tell. Shout out to his family. Shout I out to his tell. family, dude. Oh, this was, this is new to you. Tana drags Jason. Okay. Jason Nash, a fucking DoorDash account. If I open my TikTok one more time to seeing him begging for roses on my live for you page, I'm calling CPS. <laughs> Have you seen your kids? <laughs> Have you seen them? <laughs> and also when they go to school, are their friends like, hey, I saw your dad like begging for a galaxy. Like, and I'm, I know I'm a sellout. Okay. I'm not against people doing things for money, but at this point it's like, I would rather see him behind a paywall, cheeked up. Like, I just, I just don't get. I just every single time I've opened my phone, Jason Nash is on live begging for money, and I want answers. Oh, Have you seen so your kids sad. this month? He's not wrong. He's not Brutal. wrong. I've noticed that too, girl. Speaking of um, Jason Nash, actually, he's part of the neighborhood too. I didn't realize. Oh it's, wow! It's the whole cinematic universe. I just want to complete it. Yeah, that's us. Uh, that's uh, we need a uh, Patrick, I believe. We need a Gary, right? <laughs> and we need a, a Squidward too, I guess. True. 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 We have his right. house. Yeah, but not him. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Love that. So good. Um, there it is. <laughs> Listen to the super chat. When Ninja was a pro Halo player. I asked him to sign some merch. He said, after you take a picture of my family. And I took it, and then he left. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> See, that's, that's funny. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Read that again. What happened? When Ninja was a pro Halo player, which is, that's where you got to start. Was this he wasn't Halo. all that then. He was under, I think he was pretty small before Fortnite. Yeah. Yeah, 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 no, no, yeah no, nothing to that level. But when he was a pro Halo player, I asked him to sign some merch. He said, after you take a picture of my family. So wait. He took the picture and then he left. <laughs> so he asked the fan to take a picture of him. Yeah, I guess maybe he was there with his family. And he said, thanks, man. <laughs> Just walked away. I could see that being a slip of the mind. Yeah. You know. No, I'm, I'm not going to hold it against him. Yeah. We forgive Honest him. mistake, I'm sure. We forgive him. Yeah. We do. Yeah, let it go, Aaron. <laughs> Let it time to let it go, bro. <laughs> uh, Colleen, <laughs> who cares about Colleen anymore? She says stories that came out about her lies, uh, being the reason why she didn't get a role in Broadway. 
Yeah, I'm sure. You think so? That's an interesting way to put it, I guess. <laughs> go ahead, girl. Speak your mind. Last year was um, me saying, oh, I'm about to go do this big audition. I've been talking about it for, like, I think weeks or months maybe even at that point. And I finally went and I did the audition, and that was where we left off. I actually have a vlog, I think, of the next day of after the audition. So let me know if you guys want to see that or parts of it. But do I? I think I do. Anyway, I'm a little bit sensitive about this, which is why I haven't talked about it, even though you guys have asked about it a lot. But I'll touch on it really briefly because so many people have asked about this. The audition went really well and um, I was really excited about it. It was an audition for a Broadway show and I got it and we you know, had dates set and I was really excited to um, go do Broadway again. And um, then it didn't happen. And I was, um, Daisy's playing with my rocks. <laughs> Daisy. Hey, don't touch her rocks, bro. That's personal, man. I know how important that <laughs> is to her. She's a rock mommy now. She's a rock mom. Come here, but like, you know, obviously a lot happened last year. A lot was said last year. I lost that opportunity um, right after a story came out about me that was just completely made up. And it is what it is. And, you know, you know moving forward. Sir. No. Shame. Anyway. I feel like if she's bold enough to say that that story that came out was a lie, I think she's bold enough to lie about getting a part in a Broadway show. You think she? Maybe she auditioned and didn't get it. Oh, she said she has receipts. Okay, show me, because I don't believe you. <laughs> yeah. If it... Okay, I was doing some reading in, like, the comments, and people are speculating that it was probably Roxy Hart in Chicago, <laughs> just because Chicago always has people come in, like, guest star. And I looked, and in January, the person who was in, like, the Scandaval thing is playing that role. So I wonder if those were the slots that... Colleen, Ariana. What's, oh, yeah, Ariana is the one mm -hmm. playing Roxy Hart. Wait, what? Yeah. Which they, one's like Ariana? This, I, it's been it's a while. Tom's girlfriend. Ariana. His long-term girlfriend. Uh, uh, what the fuck's that show called? Uh, Chicago. Vanderpump Rules. Vanderpump. Oh. Vander um, this is... Oh. Mm -hmm. Tom's... At, they broke up, right? Because he cheated on her? Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Should we button <laughs> that? Bro, that? Everybody's shit. cheated. That's like the most unspoiling thing. Everybody cheats on everybody this whole show. Oh yeah, that was the big thing. He, was just, that whoa. was the big thing. So, um, so button or no? No, why? What the fuck? I would button. <laughs> what? Get out of here! Hilarious. I was trying so hard to avoid it. We were, me and Lena were rushing through the seasons. So she got the part. I actually like her. She's she is she got fucked over bad, mm -hmm. and she never. She's actually one of the few people on the crew that never cheated. I think, right? Yeah. You know, she always had good vibes. Good reputation. Mm hmm. Mm. This guy's the biggest douche in the world. Get a load of this <laughs> fucking guy. Oh, man. Yeah. Shout out Howie Mandel. Shout out. Cam, please, can you make coconuts and Barbados as Patrick's house? Was one request. And then there was another one <laughs> that was. Keep adding to this. What about uh, Mr. Krabs? Who's Mr. Krabs in this situation? This person said. Oh, I'm missing a lot of donuts. I feel like Jason should be Mr. Krabs because, you know, money. Mr. Krabs loves money. And I'll. Mm, Mr. Krabs have. would do anything for, yeah. for a dollar. They said Matt Rife as Handsome Squidward. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. He didn't come up today. Everything else was, like, related to the show today. Oh, here, I've got the donations here. This is nice. We got Who it. Who can Ninja be? <laughs> Let's see. Ninja should be Gary. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. We got Gary energy. Tom Sandy Ball. Sandy. Tom Betty Sandy White's Ball. Birthday. Okay. It's not bad. Eh. Um, I'm just, I'm catching up here. I didn't get my ADHD diagnosis until I was 35 because I always hung up on the hyperactive part. Reading more of the symptoms was enlightening for sure. I guess I got that shit. I don't know. I met Sean on Monday at the Oliver Tree concert. He was so nice. He is, so, he is genuinely a really nice guy. Yeah. I can say that about him. Sunday's my 24th birthday, Jen Hella says, Zach. It's crazy because I've been watching H3 consistently since I was 16. Shout out. Wow. Eight years, that's pretty much my whole online career. Day one fan. I still remember watching the first episode of the pod on my bedroom floor getting ready for school. Nice. Love you, no huh. homo. Of course not. Cheers, my dude. <laughs> 
Yeah, there was another um, SpongeBob suggestion though. I think it was Ben Shapiro with the fade as Patrick's house. So you can decide which ben direction. Shapiro with I think I'll go with that one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> His head is more. <clears throat> this is a. Uh... Oh, here's the explanation, Dan, of how they found the ad. In case anyone is curious how I ended up finding this, I was watching an old Toonami broadcast video, and I just happened to skip around Whoa. and see the commercial. Huh? Uh -huh. And see this commercial, and then just, wow. That's okay. random. Yeah. Hmm, small world. That's still such a trip. Like I said, I hadn't thought of that in decades. You got it, Seriously. Zach? You pulled that shit? I'm going to pull it after the show. Okay, yeah, because I need that. <laughs> Definitely need that. Mega Man has always been a part of my life. <laughs> always has, always will. What can I say? Speaking of SpongeBob, Ariana wrote a new song about uh, <laughs> her love interest. She says, let's see. The, I guess the lyric goes. It's kind of like a piratey song, like all the music on SpongeBob. Is this a Very good song? I haven't heard her. it. It's, it's, like like a, a, it's, a, it's like a sea shanty. Yeah, I like that. Your business is yours, mine is mine. Why do you care so much whose dick I ride? That's on her new single, Yes And. I like it. She's like, okay, yes, I broke up their family with a newborn and. I would avoid the topic if I was her. It's not a good look. Yeah, she lost like uh, 350K followers after this. Damn, that really hurt her, huh? That's a bitchy line. Wait, after the whole SpongeBob fiasco or after this? After the song was released. Oh, for real? It says amid drama. Yeah, I'm guessing, yeah, in the wake of her new Is song. Is it a good song? Is it catchy? Yeah. yeah. It, it sucks that she <laughs> seemingly sucks. I love that Thank You Next song. It's catchy. It's great. Yeah, it's a good song. Yeah. Ian, <laughs> oh, you're, the, you're a fan, Ian. What'd you think of it? Um... Yeah, it's catch. I don't know. It's, it's a fun song. You really know how to pick them, don't you? Don't you, Ian? To be, to be, uh, publicly, I think you know. God, she's the worst, right? Mm. Yeah, really horrible. Publicly, I think can't it's believe she bad. did that. Yeah, <laughs> right. she's the worst. Frankly, right. is that what you think about say, Kanye? <laughs> one might even say wicked. One uh, literally, one, one might say that. One would say that. One did. A fan would say that. Yeah. Anyway, uh, why do you care so much about whose dick I ride? I mean, I don't think anyone does. It's just like. You always turn it into a spectacle. The Pete Davidson thing was a spectacle. The SpongeBob thing was a huge spectacle. You know? Now, who told, was it not you, Olivia, that told me the update with like the wife what? or something? I don't know. I thought there was some update to this whole saga. I know that page six like edited their initial article and said there's no actual proof that Ariana separated a marriage. But <gasps> the wife did go to page six and she did give those quotes. And so, yeah, there's no actual like credible evidence, sure. What? Who cares? But, we all know yeah. what happened. But it's like, no, we can all insinuate. We can all infer. Yeah, what are we talking about? <laughs> um, and the wife said so. So This is so good. This unearthed uh, video. This is from... Golly, what year has this got to be from? Mm. He's, this dude says he got a $4,500 bounty from reporting Keemstar to the IRS for tax fraud. <laughs> so awesome. Check this out. Keemstar. I made $4,500 off of Keemstar in 2011. 2011, I made $4,500 <laughs> off of Keemstar because I snitched on him. Because he admitted on tape, you, you wanna know how I prove it? Hear me out. Because everybody knows when he was part, when he was leading Federation of Asshole Gamers, he would brag <laughs> that people would pay him a lot of people, a lot, a lot of people. He, was, he bragged that he was making about $10,000 or so a month off of people being friends with him on Xbox Live. And he would charge people $20 a month to be friends with him on Xbox Live. And then he would charge them like $50 a month for like something special. So they would like play with him like like priority. 
he admitted to never paying taxes on any of that money. He was providing a service, and I... It's awesome. Uh, imagine a world where people pay to be friends with Keemstar. That world is long dead, man. Okay, bitch. That guy is one of Eyes Poseidon's stream snipers. Oh, for one real? Of, yeah, he's from that universe. So he, he's just, uh, this dude is just a menace. <laughs> yeah, he's insane, actually. That's good. I, I just recognize well, That shit him. was funny. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Keemstar, here's a super rare unearthed one we found of him without his hat. So... This is unbelievable. Yo. I never thought... Guys, very important. I'd see a new... Rate 5 Keemstar Keemstar Stars photo. has been suspended for two weeks. It's suspended until October 15th. I need your help. FAG, we need your help in promoting. I mean, this is an old up. photo. He's got to be like bald, like Howie Mandel bald. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> How long have we been going here? Uh, 310. That's freezing in here, isn't it? I'm always it's, cold in here. It's quite it's cold. Fucking, it's been cold, man. I don't think there's been a good temperature in here for a year. <laughs> Is there either yeah. too warm? Either well, we too have cold. a heater, right? I mean, yeah, yeah, it's been running uh, too low. If it, you, it sounds like everybody's cold. <laughs> if, if, if everybody's cold, <laughs> yeah, then I let's, love it. Let's turn up the heat. Let's turn it down. <laughs> Cam's all about it. I love it. There's a few of us who are always hot. I'm one of them. You're all okay. So I, I so there's there is a there's conflict. Disagreement. Yeah, but I don't touch it. I got I got my fan right next to me, so. Because I know it's not normal. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I'm getting older or because I lost a bunch of weight, but I'm like cold as shit lately. It's also winter. Maybe right. that's why. So here's the final one. This is Ben Shapiro as Patrick's house. Okay, yeah. And then this is Ninja Harry as is. Gary. Good choice. Oh, fantastic choice. And but what are we going to work coconuts and Barbados in here or no? We didn't really talk about them today. True. True. Very true. Yeah, this is a nice summary of today's episode. <laughs> what the now. fuck is this photo of his hair spiking? It's Patrick. It's Patrick Star. <laughs> He's a pinhead. Did his hair really look like that or no. did you add that? Okay. Right. Nice. Yes, thank you. All right, well, let's see if there's something to hit on real fast here. Let's do this. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's do the Stanley Cup experiment on Friday, Ian. <laughs> The Stanley Cup experiment. <laughs> and AB. Mm -hmm. I want to get like a bucket of hot water. I want to get like, we'll do it in the dishwasher. We'll do, I won't, can we set it on fire like legit? Can we just burn, like put it in a fire? <laughs> uh, yeah, we could buy another one. <laughs> we don't have a very easy way to do an open flame here. I suppose we could do it in the parking lot. Yeah. We could put it in the air fryer or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean the the yeah, I mean the 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 dishwasher gets very hot. I mean, yeah, yeah, it does. Sure. I, the dishwasher, I, I feel like that's a good test. That's a good test. I think it's gonna. I have this thing. It, I stays eyes for three days. It's crazy. No way. Yes, three yes. days. Yeah. It's what is that? I'm rocking the slim, dude. That's that's the shit. What's the brand? Slim. Oh, it's just slim. I don't know if. You, mm. Yeah, that's the shit, dude. Huh. You want to put that in the washer too? Or we'll do a test. Can get another one. These aren't as high. Yeah, I'll buy you one okay, for the cool. experiment. I'll yeah. buy you another one for the experiment, AB, because I want to burn that yeah. shit. I want to set it on fire. Oh yeah, let's do it. <laughs> we can just get maybe like some kind of um, metal receptacle, put some lighter fluid and some wood, <laughs> fireplace wood, and just get a fire going. Sure. Yeah, I got you. No problem. I got you inside. Although if there's no, rubber inside. and stuff, that's not going to be good. <laughs> huh? Is there rubber on it? Like, uh, uh, well, yeah, not rubber really. Well, but it'll yeah, burn it's really, off. It's not. It's not a great thing to do to just like. Well, don't off. breathe it. Yeah, I think stand back. What about like dipping them in a boiling pot of water? That's good because then you won't melt anything either. It's all, well, you can way. melt. Yeah, maybe, water. but but also I think that would be a lot less hot than a fire. Y definitely, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Everybody's gonna calling put that... you out for misidentifying your cup, my dude. Me? Simple modern. Does that ring a bell? I don't know. It's Does that S ring a bell to you? S L M. Everybody's Slim. S Slim. S L M. The Maybe one that S M. <laughs> Simple oh. modern. Should bust in though. Oh, people like that one. Simple modern is a elite. <laughs> the one I use is um I have one. It's really good too. What is it called? 
Everybody's like, is my cup's really good. Yeah, it's a thermos. No, it the, existed for no, a long no, no, time. No, 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 no. This is not revolutionary stuff. The technology is different. <laughs> telling you dan you don't know what you're saying uh so we'll do the stanley cup test on friday as well as we i'm really looking forward to this segment we've got planned on friday yes it's gonna be really fun um we didn't talk about ace family uh it's two videos that we got to get through they're long too i watched just a bit of austin's yesterday and the mm-hmm. thing that was killing me is that he did it on Snapchat, and there's so many fucking ads. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was... He's doing this heartfelt kind of spiel, and it's just interrupted every, like, 15 <laughs> seconds with the most horrific <laughs> ad you can imagine. It's totally unwatchable. <laughs> it looks like Catherine did the same thing. Angle. Okay. That's they, the place. They That's both the spot. definitely have fat Snapchat deals, and they're fulfilling some kind of daily quota, mm-hmm. which, yeah, is, which is... Which is, you know, good strategy. Get it. So you know when you... F- too bad you can only get divorced once. They get remarried. Yeah. Maybe they get remarried for clout. Or that maybe this... Because all the clout moves. Never know. Yeah. Share yeah. something very life-changing with your family or your Girl, family. Girl, why? Is she posted like this for real? Come on. Like it's not the right <laughs> orientation. It's flipped. <laughs> maybe the whole thing like that. Maybe she was shooting a YouTube video. And then she was like, oh, I need to make my Snapchat quota. And then upload it to Snapchat. Right. P- uh, possibly. Or even the public, right? Even then, um, can you flip it obviously. and just add bars? Yeah. It's really a- mm. annoying to watch it. Yeah, like this that. is terrible. Part of the contract so you know my life might need to so be that it's flipped. full screen. Does she ever fix it? Just skip skip ahead. No, she doesn't. The whole thing's like this. And- oh, you say sh- there might be a, a full screen agreement? Yeah. Because I know TikTok, for example, they don't like when you use black bars as well. All right, we're gonna so, have to keep yeah, it I like <laughs> it's so much better when the whole video is misoriented. <laughs> it's like almost unwashable. I got to sit like this. It's awesome. Flipped. Not to make this video like so long and just I'm just trying to live my life genuinely. Like I just want to Girl, yes. Go back so to true. just being myself, actually like truly being myself yes, in girl. my most rawest form because mm. I feel like I hold a lot of things in, um, and I'm sure this is going to go everywhere. But I, I do want to say that, and I, I own, I own this. I own up to this. I lied to myself for a very long time, and I was not happy. All right. Did anybody? Has there ever been a successful family type of vlog where the parents weren't like divorced? Eventually, like the OGs, the, uh, the, the Osbournes. <laughs> okay, I mean they're not used. The OGs. I feel like they're in a different <laughs> no, category. I don't know. I don't know. But like the Shay Tar, is that what there's their name? Shay Tars. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <I think laughs> what so. did you just yeah, call me? Yeah. No, they're, they're yeah. Their fucking Shay-tards. channel name was Shay Tards. Shay Tards. Yeah, they're like the first huge family vloggers, mm-hmm. and they're and still this, going. This dude, they're still going? Oh, yeah. yeah. So the main guy got, like, busted. Is that their last of... name? Yes. The last name is Shaytard. It's... No. No, no. it's, uh... Jay Car- Carl. Shay Carl. Jay Carl. <laughs> so and, where um, are you getting that from? That's, that's the, the name of their no, channel, yeah. Dan. Oh. Shaytards. Got it. Yeah. So anyway, the main dad got outed by some, uh, apparently really embarrassing DMs of him begging a, was a porn star? Mm. Trying to yeah. have sex with her while mm. married. Damn. Well, Never go full shaytar. That's what it, they say. It was really, really <laughs> embarrassing, man. The DMs and everything. <laughs> Should we pull some of those? I'm looking at them. They're uh, crazy. Yeah, they're. I remember them I being super seen. bad. Shaytar texts. Yeah. I mean, I, if it if it's super graphic, I'll, I just won't read <laughs> it's it. It's that bad. <laughs> it's yeah. Ben, he he says, I bend over and slap my. Oh yeah, I. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. and, she's, and she's not responding either by the looks of it. He's like just telling stories in the DMs. Oh my god. He's, He's doing romance novels. Yeah. yeah. He's doing extremely explicit descriptions of what he would do to her. Walls of text. And she is not responding. 
I think don't show, right, Ian? Or right, Ethan? E, Ian's asking if you so should. It's so vulgar, I wouldn't show it. Yeah. It's just hideous. Dude, imagine you got kids and that shit comes out. Yeah. Down bad, bro. Figure your shit out. Anyway, that's it. That's it. We're calling it. Glad we got to that Ace Family update. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Catherine's didn't have ads. How come what's Austin's on, did? Okay, so like, I, watch this. I found a version Biden of Austin's with no year, ads. Happy New Year to That's what's you. in the doc right now. Oh, so just the way it was cut. Well, yeah. the ads was the best part. This video sucks otherwise. <laughs> he just he just rambles on about nothing, man. I put some time. There's a lot going on. Yeah. He says they're main best friends. Whatever. He sniffles. Uh, <laughs> he sniffles. That's a timestamp. Like, that one was a joke. No one will really know uh, what her and I were going through. Um, Is there no sniffle? No one will really know. He sniffled. Um, where, he wait, already sniffled? I, where was the sniffle? <laughs> Back? <clears throat> I'll open it but again. Like, it? No. I didn't notice a sniffle. No one will really know uh, what her and I were going where, through. Where? AV? Where's the sniffle? You have to say for yourself, AV. No one I'm trying will... to switch too, and there's like. When I'm switching to my other input, I'm hearing like six Ethan. So, give me a second. It, it's one of oh, those okay. things where like I went back more. No one will really know uh, what her and I were going through. Um, no one will. That man's air passage is clean. <laughs> Austin says he may get a home in the same neighborhood. That was interesting. Ela thought that that's creepy and weird, but I, I I could see it. I could see it both ways. If it's like if they really did amicably. Separated. I guess it'd be nice for the kids to have them be close. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it could also be really creepy. His questions is, um... He wants to buy a know, house the in the same neighborhood? The... Yeah. How was this guy... He just had a house foreclosed on, like, two years ago. And they supposedly bought this other house, he's gonna buy another house? I don't know. I do not understand their financial <laughs> life at all. Well... It, it defies all... In Los Angeles. Logic, yeah. That was another one of the theories, is that they're getting divorced... So he could claim bankruptcy, put Ooh. stuff in Catherine's name. Oh, uh, even the divorce is a scam. That'd be awesome. I fucking I would root for, doubt that. I would root for him to pull that off if that's really what he's scheming, because that's just, that's an epic ass that's scam. Like, that's next level. I highly, there's no way. <laughs> that's not. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so, but... Well, I didn't want right? the ones with the ads. Um, I've been looking for... Funnier with the ads. Yeah, I way better. Home. And uh, fingers crossed, but yeah, whatever. I may have found um, <laughs> a home in the same neighborhood. <laughs> yes, guys, I'm one of those dads. I have to be. I mean, that's good. We like good dads around here. If that is really the reason, yeah, that's why the he reason wants to why. Be there. That's, that's fine. Yeah, I think that's good. He wants to get back to creating um, content. As you guys have been seeing, I've been I've been going to church. Well, we all been going to church Amen. as a family. Uh, which is amazing. Oh, that is nice that they're um, still doing that as a family. Work-wise, I have some plans uh, that you guys will <laughs> stay tuned for. Um, but, you know, obviously still in the social media world, I've always been since the Vine days, you guys know. All right. I mean, shit, they go to church together. They're going to live by each other. That theory may not be a bad one. <laughs> Mm -hmm. May not be a bad I'm one. telling you, I'm rooting for him. If that's the case, here he's pull talking it off, about brother. the future of their YouTube channel. This is the big question. Um, another question you guys had is <laughs> what's going to happen with the Ace Family YouTube channel? Um, well, <laughs> Catherine and I, uh, <laughs> you know, we've talked about this years ago because her and I both know that you know we weren't going to be doing YouTube forever. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that we always <laughs> wanted for our kids to take it over. Um, oh, was brother, you hit their children. Don't do that. They're, you know what I mean? <laughs> the, their attitude is like, if you want to make money from this, you go do it. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I get a cut because that's my shit. Right. the goal. <laughs> and obviously now, um, you know, in the direction that we're going, it only makes sense. How are you going to um, give it to your kids? They're like five. That's another scam. Legally, <laughs> they give it to their kids. Right. But what do they get from it? Well, he doesn't have to 
give it up when he bankrupts or something maybe i don't know <laughs> i don't think i don't think no nah, i don't think youtube's considered an asset you don't think so i mean your business could be not a youtube yeah, channel maybe not i don't think so i don't know though Huh. Obviously, no pressure on Would our a kids, but take a YouTube I will say that. Back that but how? How? It's, it's not question. worth anything unless you're. I mean, they'll just garnish the, your. The value, I guess, is is inherent in the uh, in the person on yeah. the channel itself. But I don't know. It's revenue revenue generating technically. I mean, what's their channel? Their channel has like ten million subs. I mean, it's a big channel. Yeah, even more, I think. Back when we were filming, um, our kids loved it, especially L. Um, I'm sure they did. All right, that's all I got to say about that. 18.4 million. Wow. How old is their oldest kid? Huh? How old is their oldest? How old are their kids who are now inheriting? Oh, not old enough to have a YouTube channel. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah. You're not going to give uh, Bruce and Teddy and the third kid <laughs> H3A3 Productions? I had not thought about that. <clears throat> you don't use it? I don't see the chronology of that lining up. Pass it down like a fairly family heirloom. Imagine right? in like... You know, it's another, horrible another like five, six <laughs> years, Theodore, he just starts posting like Minecraft content on uh, HGH Perfect production. segue. I'm sure like everyone 11, will be... Like an 11 year old's Minecraft channel. I'm sure everybody will be super nice and that'll be a really nice, healthy experience <laughs> for him. The oldest is seven. Seven. The youngest is four. Or three and a half. All right. Good, good luck out there on your YouTube career, guys. Uh, that's all I have to say today. That's it. So, um, I'll be on Howie's show live tomorrow. I mean, what time? He's starting before I get there. He's, he asked me just to pop in. I don't know what he has planned. I don't know if huh. it's like an event or something. Hmm. He said, just pop in for a bit. I said, sure. Okay. So I'll be there. I'm planning to be there around 12, but I don't, I don't know what. 12 Pacific. He's, he's starting before that. I know that. On the dot, you'll see Ethan on how he streamed tomorrow. On the dot. On the dot. 12 <laughs> o'clock Pacific time. I'm going to try to be there at 12. High noon. You should so, ask him how he feels about the, the Tom episode. Tom's end of all. I've, we've talked to him about it, haven't we? Not on his show, but... Have we? Maybe? I don't know. I don't we, we talked about it when we saw it. I don't know if we followed up with him. Oh, I got to talk to him about it. Anything else I should ask him about? He had RFK on. Yeah, RFK. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, so you voting for him? You voting for him how? Uh, Did you get him? If, yeah, yeah. Me and RFK. We're tight like that. <laughs> uh, the so, vaccines made my voice sound like this. Sounds like SpongeBob's <laughs> laugh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> no, but we kid him because he has a real condition and we don't like to joke about those yeah. things. Serious stuff. So, um, so that's Thursday. That's tomorrow. On Friday, we'll be back. I promise it's going to be a banger episode, fun segments. It's going to be great, great, great. Imagine him ninja got yes, a uh, to everybody at home, have a great evening, a blessed Thursday, Imagine and I will see y'all on Friday. Thanks, everyone. Imagine him ninja got a low table fade. Imagine him ninja got a low table fade.